Hello and good evening to another exciting edition for this week in toy culture. My name is Aras Zandia. With me always is my best friend in the whole world, my confidant, my toy geek, my fellow nerd, Mr. Michael Burgi. That'd be this guy right over here. What up, Hash? How you doing, buddy? Doing good, doing good. You know, had a bit, you know, went a little toy hunting. You saw last oh, time nice. when I posted Finding the Mandalorian and the Child. And yes. then apparently all hell broke loose the second I posted this. That <laughs> that apparently this was the first run and select stores didn't get it yet. And I found Ooh. the one target that had one. And when I went back, when I mean like they had a full stock of the Mandalorian and Child 2 pack. When I went there, there was three action figures. Of course, I grabbed two because I'm a two guy. Like, especially I've always been a two guy kind of thing. Uh, So when I went back the next morning, apparently they had restock overnight. And I mean restocked. I mean restocked overnight, meaning that from what a staff member told me, there was over 20 some picture, uh, 20 some, uh, 20 some action figures. Oh, wow. So. It's almost like, you know, like you go to stores right now, you see the Luke and the Yoda together, like the two pack there. Yep. It was almost like that, but they had them hanging on their racks. And they said some guy came in and bought all 20 of the action figures. And I went, those are the people that I do not like that take away the fun and yep. the nostalgia of us being hunters and collectors and you know we're not we're not resellers by by any which way we are collectors like we are collectors yeah you know th- those guys like that they do that where they buy like 20 action figures it's like come on dude you're just ruining the fandom and you're ruining the joy that right. somebody else might get i get it if i wanted to maybe grab a second one cuz you know you have a buddy or something or maybe you could use this trade bait you right. could flip it maybe for double what it is or something i understand that i can get behind that you buy 20 of them <sighs> That's just too much. The people are just, just I mean, and and you know what's gonna suck? I'm gonna see it uh, at the next. Uh, oh, okay, so like, there's a toy show happening on Sunday in Jersey, and if I see yep. those same action figures and I know the guy is local, I'm gonna <laughs> be pissed. Yeah, like I'm gonna be like upset. Like why? Like why are you gonna ruin for others? And I know for a fact, or like I, I know right now, because if you go on eBay, they're going for easily seventy-five to one hundred dollars. Oh, easily seventy-five yep. with shipping a hundred dollars. So yep. you're easily messing up the market for anyone else who wants to purchase it. So, like, yeah, and I, people. Do, like, I joked with somebody the other day. Uh, there was a customer in my GameStop, and they were sitting there talking to me about PS5s and Xbox Xs. And she's like, oh, my God, there's just so many flippers and scalpers everywhere and stuff like that. I said, you know, when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you see the menu and it's like the year of the pig, the year of the dragon. I said, 2020 is the year of scalpers. Like, that's what this year is. It's the year of the scalper. So it just and it drives me insane. People are overcharging for half of this stuff that fans are not going to be able to get their hands on. Or when they do, it's not going to be worth it because it's going to be five, six, seven times the amount. And I'm uh, like, Drives me nuts, man. Yeah. You see, he wants to trade me the cane. No, as far as as far as those Bandai action figures are concerned, those those figures, unless you're getting Undertaker, have already dropped in value. So yeah, you can keep the Bandai one, bro. On until <laughs> like until like you get Kane, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, and The Rock to sign them. Good luck getting The Rock, yeah, Triple right? H, and the Undertaker, uh, not Undertaker, and the Stone Cold Steve Austin at a convention anytime soon. Because Wizard World will get Kane anytime, and so will this guy over here. They can get Kane anytime they want to. But if you want the best, if you want the di- that diamond in the rough, you better start collecting Undertaker action figures. Because when Undertaker starts doing more conventions, you're going to want to get everything you've ever had from Undertaker signed. That's, that's it. You want to get everything <laughs> from Undertaker ever signed. Because why? That is your childhood. I, I mean, if you have the old school Hasbro action figure, that's the one. Even yes. out of the box, in the box, any box, that's the one you get signed. Right. Well, Those are definitely the ones to go with. Right. I, I, I mean, like, what would be if, if you had if if Undertake like what would you get Undertaker to get signed if, if you had something to get signed by him? Oh God, man. Right. Um. Oh, that's so tough to say. 
Yeah. I would probably have to try to find one of his championship belts if I'm getting something signed by Undertaker. Wait, It'd so have to be a championship get... belt, or I would try to find something of a replica of his jacket that he always wore. Mm. You know, something like that. Those are the things I would probably – because that's iconic for him. You could do, like, often, you know, a shovel because of always the death matches and stuff like that. You know, but if you're going to do something, it's got to be a belt. I would say a belt, uh, his jacket, if you can get that type of, like, uh, a replica. Get that so, signed. So you would. So you would probably get a. Um, all right. So you want to get a trench coat um, yeah. by him, pretty much. Yeah. That that would be awesome to have the trench coat. To, you know, have that and wear it and do that. Um, I just think that'd be awesome. Like that'd be killer. You know, because I've seen like you know my boss Steve has some uh, Sons of Anarchy vest that he has signed by the entire cast of Sons of Anarchy. So imagine wearing that. And that looks cool, all signed. But now we have that. Do you see this comment? Do you see this comment? <laughs> the Michael Mayhem figure today. That is awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the hat. I, I definitely say the hat would be something kind of cool too for uh, Undertaker to get signed, because then you could get that signed by, you know, the 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 twin brother of Destruction. You'd have to get that almost co-signed in a way, because you oh, could. Oh God, you have to get fake Diesels to sign it. Yep. <laughs> right. If I remember correctly. Was it fake? Was it fake Diesel? Or was it fake Razor Ramon? I forget who the the second Undertaker for WrestleMania uh, uh, nine was. Either was it Diesel? Was it fake Diesel or fake Razor Ramon? Oh God! And I I'm thinking. Remember. I remembered it back then, like who it was. Like it was like a top of my head. Like who played fake? Uh, who played the second Undertaker? And it was. And to this day, it Vince McMahon hates that match to this day. I don't I don't remember. I don't think I don't think Undertaker had an LJN because LJN, if they had it, I to be honest, I really don't know. I don't think he had one, but I could oh, yeah. be wrong because I don't remember seeing an LJN action figure. And someone who's a big fan of the LJN figures or someone looking for it who can probably answer that. But I've seen people customize one or two. So there's a lot of people that customize. Uh, certain toys and certain action figures. So if it doesn't exist, like I've seen someone take a take a, Mar a Rocky Marciano one and make a Rocky Balboa one. Sean Sean's saying Kane was fake Diesel. Kane was fake. Kane was fake Diesel. Yeah, I know Kane was fake Diesel, but Undertaker. You remember the uh, WrestleMania where had two Undertakers? So it was fake <laughs> Razor Ramon then. Then did it then. Kane was fake Diesel. That's I remember cool. him being that uh his that 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 silly doctor character for a hot minute. Yo, so. yes, yes. What am I I I think like to me, like and I know we got some wrestling figures to talk about then, and I think we could go some stories there. But I always loved one of my favorite wrestling guys that they always did was the dentist. You right. know, like they oh, had the Ivan yes. Yankum or something like that. I think the guy's name was, and it, he he reminded me of like Kane or something like that. It was Doctor Ivan Yankum or something. I always hated that one. And he always would pull a tooth, and Kane. I loved the. Was it? It was Kane, right? Was, it was. That Kane. is Kane. That is Kane. That is yeah. Kane. Okay, so I thought that Dr. was him. But... Doctor Yankum, which only lasted like two months, yeah. was Kane. It was like one of the worst like gimmicks that they did. I I hated it, but I loved watching it because they always used to like yank the tooth out, and then the IRS always loved the IRS. Don't know yes. why, dumbest characters, but I loved them. Dr. Uh, Isaac yeah, Yankum, but, DDS, but, yes. But we have to thank IRS for giving us two great wrestlers. Well, one became better than the other one. Both former champions, and that'll be their son, Bo Dallas and uh, Bray Wyatt. Yes. yes. So without exactly. further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to some of the toys because I know, you know, sooner or later, someone's going to be complaining like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna carry the living hell out of me in like a Where little bit. Where are the toys? Where are the toys? What toys? You you pretty much bought half of my Target at Walmart anyway. You know, you work at game, you and you and you're working at GameStop right now too, trying to buy all of it anyway. Hey, anyway. I was just I was just in uh, GameStop in uh, Cape Cod, and they had some uh, Spider-Man figures I hadn't seen in a while, and I was like, man, these are cool Which looking. I uh, saw... they had the Far From Home ones. I hadn't seen them yes. like at my stores, but some stores your only GameStop, get once. Right. Your GameStop for some reason has a restock of a lot of the far from home figures. Yep. And not only did it hit the stores, and it's also on their website. I yeah. bought I bought the Spider-Man one and there was another set there. Uh, yeah, the whole and also the whole Spider-Man set is there too. Everything from yeah. Far From Home 
is there. I bought the single yeah. Spider-Man figure. Yeah, at, at this uh, store out in Cape Cod, at the Cape Cod Mall, they had like five out of the six or something that was there. So I was like, man, I was like, I was so tempted. I was like, I want to buy it, but I don't want to buy it. Oh, Why? I can't do you, it. Don't you have the set? No, no, I didn't get it. And I was just like, ah, I got to spend money on other stuff, you know, other toys coming Missed up soon. You, Dennis. Hey, what's up, Dennis? How you doing, buddy? Well, we're here. We're here for you guys. We're here to support. We're we're here to support your bad habits. It's like a bad, <laughs> like but we're, we're, we we have bad habits of ourselves too, as you can see. Like you know, I bought these yesterday at the last time I went to Target. So the fact that no Walmart. So the fact that I went to Walmart, I saw them, I grabbed them, you know, and maybe we get lucky. I will open up He Man just because. <laughs> Just because, and by the way, Joe, just because the box is beat up and only because I do want to stand him, put him in a box and put him on oh, the yeah. shelf. That's what I want to do. I want him to like, but I kind of missed out because as I said last time, my storage unit, is, my, my old parents storage unit is right across the room for me, right in front of this camera, behind this camera is my old storage unit that holds all my old school He-Man action figures. And I kind of want to do a comparison between the 85 edition to the current 2019 slash 2020 edition of the He-Man. Oh, nice. And I also wondered if 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 their two power swords actually do go together. Oh, so, that would be killer. Imagine if they made it so you could connect them together. But I know this sword is different than the original. All right, let's get to the toys here. I know, right? I know. Let's get to the nos let's get to your nostalgia and our nostalgia. That's why we do this every single Tuesday, guys. Thank you all for watching us and joining us, whether you're on YouTube, Twitch, or God knows where, or driving. Talking right, about so nostalgia. <laughs> so, I was searching online. This is just last week. We were, we were supposed to talk about this last week, um, but uh, what we're gonna talk about today. This is a Kenner retro exclusive that entertainment earth is going to be having so far they only bring out one uh the th the first original figures and the first one coming out is chewbacca yes this is exactly like the night i think the 76 edition yeah, action figures 1976 original. and uh it's not the original packaging the reason why they're saying retro on it they have the kenner name and it also the box looks like it's beaten up Oh God, this, this does look like this sat in someone's basement or, you know, in someone's like storage unit for many, many years. You can see the fading, cracking, everything like that. I, I love right. the fact that they did that type of detail to sit there and say that this is a retro piece it is definitely worth it. This looks really cool. I do enjoy this. And I get yeah. why they put the retro collection sticker on it because you don't want someone mistaking this for a 1976 original. Yeah, know? but they could have. Yeah, but like. In, in the figure alone, they could have just put it here or put it yep. here. Not put a giant sticker over <laughs> where Chewie is. Like, put a giant sign. Like, this is what probably annoys the hell out of me for being a retro collector. I want it. Maybe they could have put a retro underneath here. Yeah. Somewhere else in small print, knowing that you bought a retro figure. Oh. Or underneath maybe, the Kenner. Kenner doesn't maybe, exist anymore. Maybe they were trying to hide, uh, you know, uh, Chewbacca's, uh, you know, chesticles. We don't know. <laughs> he's uh you know he's got he's got dreads going all the way down yeah <laughs> he's got dreads uh but here's another figure which i know a lot of you guys would love to have in your collection because granted none of us maybe most of us could afford one no but they've updated this for your pleasure to have in in your collection is the retro darth vader with the old school overcoat because they couldn't show everything else. Yep. If you watch what was the uh, net uh, the Netflix show how to where how toys are made, and if you yes. watch the special of how toys are made, and they talk about the Star Wars edition, this almost ruined their their their, their toy line. A lot of the first editions ruined their toy line, which includes the dynamite stick lightsaber. <laughs> But you know what the, the cool thing about it is that it's a telescopic, you know, lightsaber. And I remember, like, it was the long piece that would – the little skinny piece. That's what used to pull all the way down. Right. And if you had the Luke Skywalker one, that was, like, one of the hardest to find. Um, You know, that was, like, the most difficult one to get. And if you yeah. did get it, it was always broken. 
So what's cool about this one is they have updated this lightsaber because as Michael said, this is the part that used to extend out. Not anymore. You know what extends out? That part. <laughs> so you didn't get the long stick dynamite where you're just like, all right, I got 10 seconds before this fuse blows. So right? you don't have the long extended fuse anymore. Uh, so <laughs> the show, what is it called? <laughs> the toys that made the us. Toys that made us. Oh, well, you know what? Does it matter? No, but just talking, go watch it. This is we, this, we're talking this week in toy culture, all right, J-Bo? Forget that show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we, you know what? You go watch those references, and guess what? Because we all know that you're going to buy this one for yourself, and we all know there's going to be one in your little collection. Um, yeah, there's going to be one for your Rhode Island stuff. Uh, these are not there's the all star, the uh, the all star Wars. Star Wars. No, it's not going to be all star Wars. Most just of it, just one more, yeah, a few, but not major. One more. So, just because you guys are hunting for the toys, remember this is what the box art looks like, looks retro, and <laughs> as if like you've had it in your attic for over 40 yeah. some years. And that's, uh, that's the nice thing about this, that's the nice touches that they did on this. Look for the giant retro sticker right over the original <laughs> box art. And yeah, last but not thing. least, last but not least, we have our princess, Princess Leia. I think this was the other problem as well, too. She came with a jacket instead of it being like a long dress. Yeah. So happy hunting for your first remake of the original three. These are available on Entertainment Earth's website. I have not seen them anywhere else, let alone Hasbro has not put them on their website either. Uh, let alone Hasbro Pulse. I don't know if GameStop has them on their list because it seems like you guys don't. I don't but, think I've seen these yet. So probably tomorrow someone's going to say, oh, no, it's on the, it's on the uh, GameStop website. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yes, her Cinnabon yeah. headpieces <laughs> yeah, with the Cinnabon headpiece. Mm, um, Cinnabon, just so as as fast as this figure was emailed to everyone, if you're part of uh, if you're part of the Hasbro Pulse mass email of getting your figures, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, Firestar, aka one of Spider Man's best friends. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a tease a little bit too because how quickly this figure was just brought up out of the blue and how fast this figure was sold out. Now, granted, this figure is already sold out, but we all know just like the Dr. Doom figure, other companies will have their sets somewhere down the line. Will probably be a little bit more than retail, but not as much compared to what you've already paid for. Yeah. But it's still a cool piece. I'm upset. I I wait. I I'm upset that I got to uh, lose on this pre-order, but I look forward to hunting it at other websites. This is this is such a cool piece. I mean, Firestar. It, from anyone who knows, it's Spider-Man and his amazing friends. This was like one of the best cartoons I remember as a kid. I could not wait to watch this. This is uh, such a good cartoon series. I'm I'm waiting to see if they're going to make a retro version of Human Torch for this. Right. Because we've already got two versions of Human Torch. And I'm also like, waiting. And, I, and someone can remind me again. Did they release the Spider-Man version of Fantastic Four? Or no, not yet, right? I don't, I don't think, so. think so. I don't think so. Well, that'll be that'll be the that'll be the grab of the year if it if it happens. No, that'll be the grab of 2021 if they make it. Right. Imagine. Especially with everything coming out now. <laughs> Spoiler alert for Spider-Man 3, he ends up with a paper bag over his face, and that'll be uh, <laughs> <laughs> wearing the fantastic four you know suit and then just wears the the bag bag head right what a lot, 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 lot of love for virgie tonight i don't i don't yeah. see this love on sir on thursdays i see more more of this love on the tuesday love you guys yeah right um, hey, they love toys they love toys I, I love you guys too for watching us on tuesdays you know, well, I, love about, yeah. I love that the accessory is the little toy the little dog the little toy dog like i think that is so cute that this is an accessory you know, I, I think that's cool. This is so <laughs> and the detail on her is perfect. It's just like you remember from the cartoon series when we were kids. Like it's spot on. Like, this is amazing to me. Not only do you and also Leon the dog. Look just at the lion. Like just get it. I mean, if you're if you're a fan of this dog, I mean you're just getting the action figure just for this dog. <laughs> just the same way how you buy the British Bulldog action figure just because it comes with a British Bulldog. Like dog toy. Well, this is the first time this dog has ever been, uh, you know, made into a toy. So it's a first. So you know, you gotta got it. Get it. 
Right. Yes. I mean, they did, yes. they did. They did make one for for Tori Wilson for WWE, where she had like they attached uh, one of her dogs with it as well. Too. Uh, we discussed this last time. Look at the background of this box. It is almost yeah. um, It's the cartoon series. Remember where everything popped out of the the walls and they turned into the uh, the spider, like the the secret cave in a way. The, the layer, the, the uh, spider layer. Yeah, the spider layer. They had everything yeah. popped out of the walls. The things flipped out of pictures on the back of the wall. The coffee table turned into like some type of like radar system. Like, I didn't know that um, part. Yeah, because you see the you see that right above uh, Miss Lyon's, uh, you know, the dog there. That right, was a coffee the table, and I think it stunk into the ground or it flipped the completely. So it was a coffee table, and it flipped the whole coffee table over, and it turned into like a giant radar where they could see where stuff was. So there you go. There's the give box. me that playset. Give me that playset. That's what I'm talking retro about. Retro look in the back. You want the playset? You gotta probably have to build it. You know, how, like they make like those build sets. I would probably, buy buy, I would probably buy it. I would probably buy that if that was a build a piece. That might not be a bad idea. I can see uh, like Marvel, like I can see Hasbro forgetting like the whole like forget build the figures. Let's build a set figure. Like you know, let's build a like how uh, a few years ago, the, um, I think not Mattel, I think Jack specific, one of the toy companies. You can build a ring with certain action figures. Yeah, tell me that wouldn't be cool. Like you have something like that, or you do something where you build Tony Stark. You know where his Iron Man, you know, suit is, you know, kept or something. You have to build that for that layer. You get pieces with individual, uh, you know, action figures. I think that'd be kind of cool instead of the build a figure, build a playset. I think that'd be pretty neat. I'd buy it in a heartbeat because me, right? I, you know, how many times I have to print something out? Like I got to print eleven by seventeen out, put it like this, and then. Use it as a background for certain uh, for certain scenes, mm -hmm. and then pray to God it's not too shiny. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Uh, we also have the latest edition for the uh, uh, the Hasbro line, and that is Modok. This lovely fifty or sixty dollar action figure currently available on, you know, their their website. I, I like it. Thanks, J thanks, man. You know, this ain't Sunday <laughs> yet, but you know, we already discussed. We already discussed already what's been happening what? in the Spider-Man oh, world. When we talk about cutting the check, just just cut Mayhem a check. Every single time you see cut the check, just give Mayhem like a uh, twenty-five cents to a dollar donation to this week in pop culture. I'm telling you, he's got to make the T-shirt. I will wear it. I will rock it. We're gonna, we're gonna make the T-shirt. We're we're gonna make the T-shirt. We're gonna make this week in pop culture. <laughs> cut the check. That's it. Hashtag cut the check. Anyway, for your latest grab, if you like like action pieces, especially seeing Modok, especially if you love the Avengers and the latest Avengers game, which yes. has its flaws right now. Um, why? I, I mean, here's a good question. Just before we continue on, why didn't they release the Spider-Man DLC at the time the new Spider-Man video game got released? Wouldn't that be the biggest like push? Of I think they. They, I don't think they wanted to compete with it and take away uh, from it. So I think it was like they knew it wasn't – no one's going to play it if you have Miles Morales of that. So, right. you know, I figured maybe after Christmas that's when they'll push it because then that'll win. People will probably be like, all right, I've already beat Miles Morales or anything like that. Now you can push the new Spider-Man. It might right. actually help them if they can fix the game per se, you know? Nope. 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 nope, nope I know. Nope. 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 <laughs> Anyway, back to Modok. I like cool how he thing. has like two like two faces, you know, for the Modok. I'm happy this isn't a build a figure, just like how Toy Biz was um, mm -hmm. several years ago, where you had to build Modok, and he was a pain in the butt to build. Um, and I do like that build, but I like this one more because it's got more color, it's got more accessories. He's off the ground, like he's as he. He's at least off the ground. The other one came with let um the other one came with extra legs, sort mm -hmm. of like so which is so cool. See, I I swear to god, I remember him not having legs. He was just like a giant floating head. Oh no, no, his legs were more miniature. Yeah, his right. All right, so it wasn't just be, me. His his legs are supposed to be like baby legs. Yeah, that's like, what this like this yeah, this looks like a legit chair. Yeah, this looks like he has a legit chair. And he could be sitting down anytime. Like if you take away the bottom piece, he's sitting down. Yeah. 
So his feet could touch the ground before his little legs. The reason why he has the chair because his little legs couldn't touch the ground. Oh, so it's all hot, top heavy, man. Look at that head. All I could think it was Mike Myers from uh, So I Married an Axe Murder <laughs> when he's sitting there making fun of the little brother. <laughs> you know, you could just sit here and just do action sequence conversations <laughs> with just the same pose every single right? time. <laughs> nah. It's like someone's great aunt yelling at you or something like that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's the lovely box art. Go hunting. Go grab it. That's a it's monster a size box, too. What is that thing, like nine inches or something tall or something for an action figure? Almost nine inches tall. Damn. Hey, it's still pretty cool. Compared yeah. To your regular eight, compared to your regular, like, to, like your regular six-inch action figure, this one being a little bit bigger than normal, the fact that he has a giant head. That's I'm curious to see how big the box actually is because of the size of that action figure. It's that thing's got to be like three, four inches in, you know, like size. This looks like it's going to be a little bit smaller than what you get for your uh, vehicle pack when you have your action figure and vehicle. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be one size smaller. Okay. If I have the box, I the box is at home at my apartment where they have the three pack and the box is smaller than normal, but it's like... Because I also have the two pack of the Incredible Hulk versus the Hulkbuster suit, <laughs> so you have to get the build a figure. If you miss the build a figure, you have to buy the two pack. Right. And I don't know when they're going to do another build a figure on the Iron uh, on the uh, the Hulkbuster suit. <laughs> That'll be freaking cool. And uh, last but sort of not but last, not least, as we talk about the build a figure action figures, we have the new build a figures. Granted, the Spider Man one just came out, and I feel like it's a tease, or I think it was a little late. This one is right on time. We're getting the build a figure Tri Sentinel uh, build a figure set. We're going to start with Professor Charles Xavier. You know, with him able to stand up, but him with his. Um, if you remember buying the Iceman action figure, this is the Iceman body <laughs> to go yeah. with it. Not much change going from light blue to completely black as far as the figure is concerned, but still pretty cool because you get. Charles Xavier, another version yeah. of Charles Xavier. I like that he has like Cerebus, uh, Cerebus Cerebral. as like a, Cerebral, thank you, Cerebus, Cerebral as like a helmet that he's using. I'm like, Cerebus sounds like a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of the dog, the three headed dog. Uh, but I like that he has like the helmet that he can wear and stuff like that. And he's actually out there with the X Men fighting. You know, he's not just sitting in the chair. So, what storyline is this from? If I'm not, I, I don't remember this one. No, this is after House. Is it, is this House of X? Because it's not the the Sword X. Yes, I don't I remember. Forget, I think it's. I think this is now House of X. Okay. Um, and the classic Charles like, Xavier pose. Yeah, especially the two fingers to the head to the noggin. Always, always. And then him with just the bald head and everything. I mean, look, if you're like me and you like playing fun with some of the action figures, especially when they come with different heads, this can go in many different directions of Professor Xavier just really enjoying himself. <laughs> Sorry. I just say, uh, this is from the current X-Men comics. But yeah, the current okay. X-Men comics is the sword, is the uh, uh, X-Swords is the current series for it. Yeah, yeah, it's X-Swords. Before yep, the X-Swords right. was also the House of X, which was a s different from the House of M. The House of uh, X Swords is a continuation from House of X, so this actually comes from that. So pretty cool. This I'm not a big fan. I of just this. love it that someone <laughs> could take the. Uh... Yeah, he's got a little weird looking there with the halos above his head. Yeah, it does look weird, but it is. Yeah, but it is Iceman's body. Yeah, just need just need Captain Picard's head there. You know. <laughs> Just say it. There's the box art. If you guys go hunting for it, go hunting for it. There's the box art for it. Uh, next, we also have the retro version, uh, Jean Grey, especially from the uh, 67, uh, edition, 60, 1967 X-Men. The original uh, Ms., uh, Ms. Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel? Yeah, it was yeah, Ms. Marvel so. at the time. Yep. Ms. Marvel, Ms. Grey. She went through so many different name changes that you like forget. Jean Grey, Ms. Grey. Ms. Marvel, and then wasn't it Marvel, and then Marvel Girl, and then Phoenix. Yep. I, I think this one might be Marvel Girl, is what it is. 
Or no, maybe it's Ms. Ms. Marvel. I don't know. I think this is Ms. Marvel. Uh, but I also know in the House of X, they put her back in this costume for a short minute. Uh, because so did the storyline when they went back to the original fight against Professor Xavier. This also can go back to the original animated series because they also put her in this costume when they went back to do the revision of the original scene against uh, against Magneto. That was pretty yes. cool, though. I just I just love the the helmet. I'm uh, sorry, her mask. How it l goes up like bunny ears in a way. Uh, like, I like the fact that it comes with a Rick and Morty thingy here. <laughs> was it the, plumb thingy? Uh, the plumbus. The plumbus. <laughs> the plumbus. The thingus. Yes. The thingus. <laughs> Very so pretty cool. There's the box art. Go hunting for it. Go on Hasbro's website. If you haven't bought the set yet, you're buying it just because of the X-Men. You're not buying it because you're building the, the Tri-Sentinels. But maybe you are. Because why? Because you need to have Magneto in your collection. Especially if you've missed the other three Magnetos that they have released <laughs> in the past several years. Which starting from the House of M start to Midway when they did the Age of Apocalypse to one other uh when it had the uh, the full white suited magneto now you have the second white suit edition of magneto That's, uh, this this, is, I, I like this because of the the cape and the way it looks with that silver on it, it looks like right. kind of like barbarian times or something you know in a way he is bad like the older he gets the more baddie he looks yes you know because even even if you put a beard on him like if you had him in like the beard look with the white, I would think he would almost like you'd be a you'd be petrified to have, like fight against him. <laughs> also, he comes with the three uh, tri sentinel heads, which we'll get to the figure. With we'll get to that figure in the very end because why? When you collect them all, you get this really cool, awesome action figure. That's the box art. Go hunting for it. Just let us know what you guys think. Go we'll get it. You also have the second edition. Of the costume that was first released for the House of M, now for the House of X, Cyclops. <laughs> and he also comes with the Blade Blaster accessory. Uh, we'll get to that little image in a second. Still pretty cool, though. Still cool. available on Hasbro Pulse's website. I can't even tell who's commenting. <laughs> Don't just I like this look. Yeah, he looks very yeah. angry. Because he's, char like, he's charging yeah, up. Yeah. He's like, you're pissing me off right now. <laughs> You, you see in red right there. Yeah, you see in red. Not only are you going to see red, he's going to blast you with, with some red beams. The, the only thing I can see with that is that has got to be, man, you got to have a plate for that, like, you know, the little uh, piece to put his foot onto. Because if not, you're not balancing this figure. You know what I just realized? It's not balanced. I, no. I hate the fact that this figure is not balanced right now. And you can tell by the pose that this thing is being used, it is not balanced. Nope. This looks like it's leaned forward. It looks like it's leaned forward to back. Yep. Because there's no way in hell he would have his foot like that. There's no way. Nope. He'd have his foot there. It's like, like he looks like he's like falling this. down in a way and he's holding his visor like he's blasting somebody. It just doesn't look right. It looks a little off. But you know what's cool though, right? Because if you get Wolverine, that fight scene where he's shooting Wolverine and he has his, his claws are there just to block Cyclops' rays. Have the right there. Yep. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Still be pretty cool though. See now that this looks like I a can normal see. pose. This just one I can see. Pose. Yeah. No, this this one no way no, no. way. Yeah. You know what's gonna happen? You know what? I will when when this when when I get this figure coming in, we'll go through this again. Someone remind me that I did the pose and I said this is totally unbalanced. <laughs> and how long how long will it take me to get the figure balanced? We'll play we'll play a game called how long would it take to get the figure balanced. And I wish they would do this like McFarlane does with his toys. Just give us a stand. Just yes. give us the base finally for once. You know, you have to go buy the bases from NECA or all these other like toy companies. Still pretty cool though. Leader of the X-Men. I think during this time he was not the leader of the X-Men, but still pretty cool. It does look like a cool piece. And I like how the the shirt and everything like looks in the 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 design of it does look really cool. Right, the costume to the lines. Like yep. it looks looks pretty cool. There's the box art. It comes with the left arm for your for your enjoyment, ladies and gentlemen. Then you also have the first time release of Moira Moira. Actually, sorry, second time release of Moira, Moira McTagger. And if you're a Spider-Man fan, you could probably swap her out with Mary Jane. Because if you didn't have a Moira McTagger, you use Mary Jane to play Moira. Yeah. 
You could definitely with this. Um, she looks like she, as she would be a, a professor of genealogy. Uh, you know, studying genes. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the professor look, but the only thing I don't like is this look. Yeah, the it's just so called the casual I'm, look. Those the so called I'm gonna force a Scottish look on the character to, to people so they know that she is a Scottish. I don't know why I'm doing quotation marks. Just to, just to show that she's a Scottish character, right? Very I mean, unique to any Scotsman out there, right? Is this what Scots people wear, like yeah. when they're professionals? Is this yeah. what Scots people wear? I, I think they would be highly offended, <laughs> right? Can you let us know, please? Comment below, like for Scots. I don't know. Scotch works too. For yeah, the, Scots, sc the scarf off to the side, just like she's right. On, like I'm going. You're not going stopping me, me, Charles. <laughs> I do like the professor look. You know, kind of like without Professor Xavier, you don't have this. I actually, I'm waiting for them to do a Jean Grey version of this sooner or later. Yet right. again, yet again, you could take Jean Grey's hair, her head, and place it right on Moira, Moira McTaggart. Yeah, yeah. And you get Professor Jean Grey, or you get, you know, Doctor Jean. And the funny thing is, like, if you didn't tell me this was Moira McTaggart, I would think this could have been anybody, like a scientist in the background of something. You know, uh, this this could also could have been Mystique, uh, the Myst when Mystique turned into a regular woman, mm -hmm. when she turned into a, and then was for was formed by uh, Apocalypse during yep. the, that storyline. Who knows? Still pretty cool. And she also comes with her some pens. <laughs> pretty cool. And last but not least, I think it's last but not least, sort of. Uh, we also have the Omega Sentinel, which was part of the series. This looks, she looks, like, this one looks like an, uh, you know what it looks like? An anime character. But I forget which yes. anime character. This I agree with you 100%. Anime. Yes. And that um, actually looks like not this one, but the one before with the brown hair and stuff like that. You can see a lot of people cosplaying that at a convention. You know? I'm not putting that one up. <laughs> so, <laughs> the other red suit on. Like, looks like, oh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, so, someone in the anime knows exactly what I'm talking about. This looks like an anime character, especially with the hair. The yeah. Pony, like the pigtails up to the side. Um. But this yeah, this is also to like My Hero Academia or, you know, Seven Deadly Sins or something like that. I can't remember what it is, but it's something like one of those animes. Yeah, this I, this I can't wait for someone to cosplay for next year. Don't forget. This would, by, yeah, this looks good. This would be a good cosplay for people to do. Hey, if you do do the cosplay, go stop. Go stop me. Go stop Mike. Where you can find me on the uh, Evil Comics Inc. table. But you're gonna find you gotta. But you have to go hunting for Bergie because that's the <laughs> problem. You know that game Where's Waldo? It's Where's Bergie? That's what it is. <laughs> but just for fun, his work shirt is gonna say this week in toy culture and pop culture, just because. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know if his boss is gonna allow that to happen. But if I have to put a sticker on him or sew it on him just for the weekend, I will do it. <laughs> I, I i i think steve's gonna be like you son of a gun please don't do yep. it like he's got two jobs he's like right? your, he's like your um he's your quick photo ops guy if yep. you ever want to go hunting and go to rhode island comic-con or you're in colorado and you go to the colorado spring show or if any of those shows or you see michael burgey somehow just randomly at a at a mall in rhode island working at a GameStop. Please go and take a photo with him at any <laughs> given time and tag us. Great. We got a lot of people in now. <laughs> um, so we do have the rest of the Omega Sentinel. I I feel like I have to get two figures of this just because she has two different sets of arms. So I'll have yeah. to have one arm regular, one hand being the cannon or the um or Whatever, whatever I would yes. that kind of that one that the top her right arm uh kind of reminds me of like Kane. Uh, uh, uh what the hell is his name? I know you talked about, but I can't say <laughs> yes. It does look like uh one of the other it looks like one of the Spider-Man uh characters. That yeah. Has it. it could be that. Last but not least, the box art. And with their powers combined, yes, you got to buy all six figures to build the Tri-Sentinel. It's like 
dancing over there. He's like, strike a pose, like, ah, gotcha. This <laughs> Nosis looks like you guys, because I'm surrounded by all you Transformers fans out there. Doesn't this look like one of the Transformers? Um, yeah, I can see it. Take, take away the head. This is a Transformer. Forget the forget head. It's a Sentinel. It's one of your Transformers. It's one of those. Have, have you seen the TV show Lost in Space on Netflix? No. Watch it and then look at this. If it had just one head, this looks like um, uh, the robot that's in it. This looks very similar to the style oh, and body the build of it. The updated robot that they had? Yeah, yeah. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, Will Robinson. Yeah, really good. Good show. Definitely check it out. And while you're hunting for those figures, yes, Marvel Legends has also released a seventh figure. Not completely with the set, but sort of with the set. It's also part of the same release. You also get the new version of Wolverine. Bit of a retro look, the updated retro look for the House of X series as well, too. What I also love about it, he also comes with a nice gray beard with it as well, too. But yes, we'll get a little close up on that one later. He says it was Krang. Yeah, you know, the guy that um oh, yes, the arm. Yes. yeah, yeah. He's from the Spider-Man series. It was black, it was uh red and yellow or something like that. I do have the figure. So someone next week remind me, I will take a picture of it and show it to you guys or follow the Facebook page and I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys the figure. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? The guy I'm thinking about is the guy that was in the Black Panther movie. Remember he had I, the Sonic Cannon? Yes. What was his name? Was it Krang? No, it's not Krang. No, it wasn't Krang. It was, um, yeah, uh, it was a guy selling the, the metal to everyone else. Yeah, the yeah, the vibranium. There's, a, there's another figure with the same cannon. And I, as I said, I will show it to you when I go to my apartment and dig through the, okay. as we say, the Lucy's. Yeah. <laughs> so there's your new updated wolverine i know about two people because why when this figure got released he sent me a picture of it and says guess what i'm getting because i know what he pre-ordered <laughs> yes james if you're watching i'm talking about you <laughs> i do, I do like, like this look especially it's got the classic not the not the classic look because the classic is the yellow and blue but then this is the second suit that he would att attire to wear the blue and and the the brown and yellow. I've mm -hmm. also wished that they've also updated the colors. Like he picked different colors. But also with this, when are they going to release Dakin that they released several years ago? Right. Because if you've just released X23, which was already released part of the Legend series, why have we not gotten Dakin when he takes this whole costume except for the claws and his head's being a little thinner? Yeah. So, Hasbro, when are you giving us Dakin? That's what I want to know. At least give us a family set. At least give us X-23, Logan, and Dakin in the original blue. In the Either in <laughs> put Wolverine in a cut suit where it's blue and yellow one side and an orange and yellow on the other one because we forget that X-23 is wearing the blue and yellow while Dakin wears the uh, yellow and brown. Yes, I agree with you. That would be awesome for a three pack. Give us all three of those. That would be amazing. I'd buy you. I know you, all of you would buy it in a heartbeat, especially um, some of you who love this stuff just like we do. <laughs> yes. Uh, as I said before, the Wolverine having a little bit gray beard and everything. This also reminds me of Old Man Logan, but not fully mm -hmm. Old Man Logan. So. And if you have the old man Logan head, you can always attach it onto this one. Could you imagine the different poses you can get, especially with the last figure that they released with him and Hawkeye? Yes. That version of old man Logan. And, you know, you can always this, you can always draw some white hairs on him. Like this. <laughs> this I do like the way the, the hair looks on him with the, the beard. Like he's got that, you know, grayed out beard. Like I'm old, you know, I long, you know, cut type deal, but it looks very distinguished. It looks really good on him. Um, this is a great piece. Like the amount of detail they have with the the gloves, the the way the, and I honestly I swear, like I feel like you could push those, you know, his blades back in, or you could pop them off. Like you could take them off his hand. No, or something, what you know? I wish though, it's not it's not like the it's not like the nineties edition toy biz yes. ones where with they had the extendable claws. <gasps> but if they did do that when they right. did the retro editions, when they started bringing the retro boxes, retro edition back. 
why didn't they do just for nostalgia purposes? His wrists don't move, but you had the retractable claws like it like it did back in the day. The updated yep. retractable claws. I'd be the first ones to buy them too. <laughs> it's awesome, you know. Why? Why wouldn't like why? Why wouldn't you? You'd have to. Anyway, there's your Wolverine. I, yeah, I love that. But the I wish smirk. this one had like I wish smiling face version had the beard too. Because look, I like this version, the old man version. I like I like that too. You know, the, the only thing missing, I think, with the one with the beard, he needs a cigar. <sighs> they can't do he it needs anymore. Like a, I know, I know, I know. Casada won't allow it, but I'm telling you, I, he needs like a, like a like the the bottom part, like the last you know piece of a cigar in there. Just have it in there. I think that would be perfect. Okay. Uh, you, the one with the hand cannon is called Cla uh, Claw. 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 Yeah. Ulysses S. Claw. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. I was having a brain fart. Something. I have the figure. but There's the box art. The single pack. Uh, and yes, I bought two of them. I love that at the top it says build a figure. And he's not part of the actual build a figure to actually oh. build the, the actual figure. Like that's the great part about it, but he's part of the but he's part of the set as if like he's like that extra figure you need to go hunting for. Yeah, yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you bought what, if you got him, go get him. Make us proud. Hunt your toys. You know. Let us let just let us know what you've purchased in the past couple of days. I know I know Jabo's nice enough to uh, to uh, tag us every now and then, which is like all the time when he buys a new toy or when he unboxes something that is kind of something. <laughs> Thank you, Jabo, for always being there and tagging us in every single post. But guys, just because Jabo's be like Jabo and post tag us on Instagram, tag us on all your Instagram pages. Let us know what you guys think. Those are our Instagrams right below. When you find the toys, you get the toys you're looking for. Let us know so we can feature you on the stream. Yeah. Um, we all know where, where, where we are. We are mando crazed. We <laughs> cannot get enough of anything and everything that Star Wars has been giving us for the past few weeks. Especially from the Ahsoka. Especially from the latest episode. But I think... Besides, besides the Ahsoka lightsaber that was released not too long ago, that is still available. It's not available on Hasbro Pulse anymore, but it is available still on GameStop. So if you are still looking for the Ahsoka lightsabers, or just a lightsaber, so you have to get two of them. If you're looking for the Ahsoka lightsaber, you'd have to go to GameStop to go purchase it. But they gave us something even better now. And I think we'd be getting this. Did you? No, no, never thought this would have been something that would have been a toy that you would be able to order and pick up. I could see some people making this, like right. cosplayers, things like that. You know, the people that do the props and things, I could definitely see someone making this. Did I think a toy manufacturer would make this as an actual toy? No, no way in heck. Never and thought. I'm it. surprised of how fast it was created, too, because normally we get these out of the cosplayers at the costume builders first. Mm -hmm. This is the first time you have the toy maker jump immediately jumping on it yep. and granted the colors off on purpose but we all know if if, if you're a collector you're a cosplayer you're dressing up as a man as i'm gonna say as you're dressing up as a mandalorian ladies and gentlemen this is the nerf blaster this is the mandalorian nerf blaster it's not gonna be as long as it would be from tail end to tail uh, as top end to go with your cosplay, but it still makes it pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is solid. Like, I love this thing. Like, they did a great job with this. You're going to see a lot of people dressed up as the Mandalorian when conventions, you know, sometime begin Probably. again. Um, and you're going to see a lot of people dressed like Mando. Uh, we're going to see Dad Bod Boba Fett, which I know I'm going to rock that myself. I'm just saying. Dad Bod you know? Boba Fett. <laughs> Got to do I Dad Bod Boba. I, I thought you were going with Spider-Man look. Oh, I am doing the Spider-Man look, but I might do Dad Bod Boba too. I could do it. I can pull it off. Dad Bod Boba. <laughs> that is that the all right, all right. The hashtag Dad Bod Boba. Yep. Just that. I don't even know if it became a hashtag yet, but guess what? We're gonna hashtag it right now. Dad Bod Boba. Yep. 
Can you say that three times fast? <laughs> dad bod boda. <laughs> there you go. Dad bod boba. boba. <laughs> Hashtag dad bod boba. But the, the ambient uh, phase pulse. I mean, this is fantastic. Someone able to do this, and I love that it's Nerf too. So I hope it shoots that little Nerf uh, like pellets, like those little the little balls. It's got to be able to shoot them. If right. not, you wasted this. You should oh, be no. able to. It's it's gonna be better, guys. Get it, I jump to the hashtag Dad Bod Boba. <laughs> this is this is what the stock looks like. Still pretty cool. It this is all plastic. The fact that this looks like wood like grain, a real thing. Yeah, it looks like wood grain. Is pretty cool. Um, what's more interesting is, as you said before, this is a one shot loader. When I mean a one shot loader, you just, this is where you load in your nerf, like your nerf bullet, we'll say. This is where you yep. load in your nerf bullet. Yes, we're talking about dad bod boba. This will be the hashtag for the next couple of minutes or so, because why <laughs> we are talking about the nerf blaster by nerf. It did a fantastic job with this. Did a fantastic job with this. Look at that. The detail that they did is fantastic. The only and thing it, is it's too shiny. It's got to be right. a little bit more yeah. like it's, you know, warm. That's, that's why the true people are going to discolor because there's no gold on it. Did you no. see a close up? No, because it's very silvery esque. The reason why it's this color is because it has to be a toy. These have to be these colors, they have to be shiny. Yep. They cannot be dull because uh, there was an incident that happened many years ago with a Nerf gun. Mm -hmm. I love the scope. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. I love the scope. I think it was in season one where we got a, the image of the scope, if I remember correctly. Yep. So, yeah, when you were shooting the, uh, the what was it, the Tusken Raiders. Yeah. And he hit him with one blast and he disintegrated. You know what? If someone likes to complain they should not put the words of Star Wars on the gun. Dude. When you become a toy manufacturer and toy maker, this is what you're doing. You can buy yeah. it and you can scrape it off. You can buy they're, it and you can scratch it off. They're putting it on there because it's their product. They want you to know it's their product. But also, if you were to be stupid enough to like break something off on these edges there, that would look like a shotgun. Yeah. You know? No, and this imagine, is a sniper rifle. This is yeah. legitly a sniper rifle. Right. You know, imagine that a little kid running around doesn't have the two ends on it. Like a cop sees that. Like I get why it says Star Wars on it, you know? Uh, there's also a reason why there's a lot of orange and white and gold yes. on it as well, too, because this cannot be as dull like a gunmetal black color no. as you see in the show. These toys cannot be gunmetal everything. And even when they do repaint these, uh, the, the Comic Cons will not allow you to have this in the store or allow you to have this in the show without the orange on it. So mm -hmm. you see the orange tip, you see the orange on the barrel, and you see the orange on the scope and the orange on the triggers. Those have to stay on the piece. So if you are, you know, if, if you're first getting into cosplay and everything, I will guarantee you, just like everyone does, if you take away any of the orange, you are not allowed in. Yeah. I can tell you for firsthand as working with the security team for the convention center and the, the Dunkin' Donuts Center and everything like that, if you come in and they look at this and you don't have orange all over it in key spots, you ain't bringing it in. And, and, if, you have a, I, and if they have a picture of it saying where the orange yeah. is supposed to be, they're supposed to stay there. Yeah, and if you're going to sit there like, well, it's part of my costume. No one knew who I am. The security does not care. Don't no. bother. Just walk back to your car, put it back in the car. If you leave it there, they're going to throw it away. So yeah. just fair warning. <laughs> oh, you don't care about the orange, right? But you care about the Star Wars name on it? Yeah, yeah. Shame on you. <laughs> that's the box art that it comes in so, oh, so cool you and i were, were discussing this behind the scenes and everything before before i started the show because this reminds me of the little toy rifle from, from the christmas movie is a christmas movie christmas not christmas carol christmas you know story. Talking, the christmas story yep. so this was you like the your eye gun. out what was the gun the red daisy when you buy your your red daisy gun this is the box because what's cool is it opens from the top it's not one of those you open to the side and you just slide it in and out. Probably could anyway. But this yeah. has the nice – this also looks like a dis, like a, a display on its own where you can have it like – like you can have it on a shelf like this and you have it open. Yep. Which is pretty yeah, cool. I mean, you, you definitely – if you're going to buy this and you're not going to use it as part of a cosplay, you're displaying this. You're going to display it where you can flip that lid and open it up and showcase it to anybody, which is going to be – 
you know, amazing. If you're a, a definite fan of this, you have this on your, you know, uh, like, what is it? Uh, you know, display piece or your bookcase or, or even, something. Or even if you can get it by a gun rack, you can actually put this in the gun rack, which would yep. be pretty cool to have display in your house. Could you imagine breaking case of emergency and someone really does go for it? <laughs> you peg him off the head with a freaking, uh, you know, dart ball from a uh, Nerf rifle. That's how you take down the bad guy. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what would be the best thing ever? The 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 gun owner that has the safe that has all the rifles in there, and just for fun, he has this in the ra- in in his safe. His friend looks at it, going, "Wait, what?" No, that would be funny. Like you'll have some guys that are probably like collectors like that, and they'll probably have ones that look like original Star Wars weapons. I'll bet money there's somebody out there right next to their original guns, handguns, everything. You've got Han Solo's blaster, right? They've got Luke Skywalker's blaster. They have this blaster. They probably have Chewbacca's. You know, uh, like crossbow you know. blaster. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, I do like this though. That does look good. All right, we're gonna be we're done with that. <laughs> that <laughs> All right, all right, one more time, guys. Hashtag dad bod, dad bod boba. Dad bod <laughs> boba. And when you do tag this guy here, MJ Burgie23 <laughs> with Dad Bod Boba and go hunting for him in a Rhode Island GameStop near you. <laughs> I mean, too funny. Too funny. I'm to be honest. I'm surprised. Like, I'm surprised. Like, some of the guys here don't do it just for fun. I'm surprised you guys don't bug him at work. They do. Um, they do. Don't, it's all good. I enjoy it. I like they it. They don't bug you at work. No, they do. They come by. All they right. hang out every once in a while. You know. They hang it once come in a while. Come by to see the Bergy. You know. Guys, see the Bergy. All right. Ah. Uh, we started adding more wrestling toys because some of you guys, especially for BYOG and the Northeast Toy Group and some of you other toy groups, I don't know what you guys both belong to. You guys also love wrestling figures. I know this for a fact because why I'm surrounded by two stores, technically three stores here in Long Island. Two of them, two of them, one in Queens, the other one now in Comac called the Wrestling Universe. Uh, the, they sell majority of them wrestling action figures. Another one called Hastel Toys in Long Island. Uh, which is in, um, oh my God, in uh, Medford. Uh, these all cater towards wrestling figures. And uh, Birchie, what stores by you cater to wrestling action figures? Uh, you're going to get mostly your wrestling figures over at uh, Toy Vault. Uh, it's probably going to be one of your best bets. Uh, I know most likely you're going to see it at some of the toy uh you know game stops not a lot of us carry a lot of the wrestling figures for some strange reason we used to but lately it's not to. much yeah Your used last to now you figure was the chris jericho list exclusive at GameStop. Yep. yep and we haven't seen any much i haven't seen any in my store in months well you know close to- the only thing close to anything wrestling you guys have actually gotten would be your funko pops re- yes. uh, lately so yep. We'll Which I actually have a, a rock Funko Pop right over there. <laughs> I picked nice. <it> up. <laughs> but lately, Walmart and Target have been going to a little war of which action figure they've been getting. I'm currently on the hunt for the the Target exclusive British Bulldog. Uh, I believe Mike wants one as well, too. So yes. we'll both be getting for them. Yeah, but you know what? As much as I like to say, FYE does carry a few as well, too, which they do. But then some of the other stores don't carry as much as they do. Like FYE also carries Power Ranger toys. Uh, also, FYE also carries majority of the Diamond collection, especially when it comes to the Diamond Select figures. So, so FYE is good, very selective. Still, the twenty, you know, twenty five dollars a little over, a little budget on pricing. But yet again, they're a lot better than some of your other stores. And I would rather go to FYE when it comes to yeah. collecting toys. Than I would when it comes to be something very comics, but you know, I don't want to feel bad about them because I have purchased a few toys from there once in a blue moon, but they are my last resort. The only thing I hate is buying Marvel Legends figures from them because those they jack up your price. So for a twenty dollar figure, you I've managed to grab a few of them for over thirty two to thirty five dollars, and they just came out, and I'd have to go to Target and Walmart just to go hunting for them. Anywho. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have the WWE by Mattel Basic Series numbers 116. This is the Dakota Kai action figure, first in the line. 
I know. Every time yeah. I hear Dakota Kai, I just think Cobra Kai. Cobra I'm Kai. sorry. <laughs> well, Cobra Kai. <laughs> every, everyone knows Cobra. Once, once Mandalorian's done, Cobra Kai is right there. And I feel like these networks plan these very well. Because once, once Mandalorian is done, here comes season three of Cobra Kai. Season four, technically, right? Season four? Uh, no, season three. Season, season three, three of uh, Cobra Kai. And I yep. remember, I remember at your show talking about Cobra. Well, we'll, we'll get to that in a second when it comes to Cobra. <laughs> well, at the end of the show, someone remind us about Cobra Kai. Michael and I will tell you a little story about Cobra Kai, and which goes back to literally two years ago. Anyway, Dakota Kai, she is first in line. She is an NXT wrestler, so this is her first basic. Congratulations! Happy hunting for all of you wrestling fans out there. Still pretty cool. First yeah. line. You know what I do like about the the uh, series for these is they go very basic with their box art. Nothing fantastic, nothing over the top, but it's perfect and it works just for what they have. You know what what I love about the basics is it's for your kid. Yeah, these are for your kids because they're just enough to be like it's on your tent because these are ten dollars. Figures, unless you end up buying them at Bright Aid or like CVS, these are twenty dollars, <laughs> which I can't understand, which I hate when they do that. Yeah. Uh, but totally worth it with certain action figures. But anyway, um, I like the fact that they're generically basic for a time being because these will eventually, ten years down the line, be used for their select, uh, their collector set, their elite set later. So, yeah, as you said, basic box art, just generically basic. Because look. No extra accessories, and if they do have the title belt, that's the only accessory it comes with. Yep. So your kid can never lose the championship belt in the crease of that car seat. <laughs> oh, if your car could ever tell stories about all the times you opened a package oh, and your mom said or dad said, wait till you go home. Nope. Nope. <laughs> You're in the car. This If you made it out of the store, if they let you have what you were opening. No. You know that. <laughs> no. Not whatsoever. We also have uh, Roddick Storm. Uh, the member of the Undisputed. So, very cool. Very, uh, you know, it's, these these are great characters just for like basic characters to give to the kids that are big fans of these without breaking them. You know, you know what? That's the nice thing about these. You know what's great about these? If you ever run out of superheroes and you're trying to create new superheroes, the WWE Basics were always good. Where you can actually, if you were a modder, if you were able to like buy certain action figures and make your own action figures out of it. That's what they can do. You can find someone to 3D print your head on one of these characters. Could you see a That's Michael Burgi version? <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna use we're gonna use Roddick Strong's body and put Burgi's head on one, and we're gonna have we're gonna call it the Burgi exclusive, exclusive to Rhode Island uh, <laughs> during the 2021 edition, not the not the summer edition, which you know. We're definitely gonna have it for the winter edition in time. It'll be a one in one, <laughs> full beard. edition. The uh, the beard and hairline is included. <laughs> <laughs> what hairline? There's no hairline. There's no hair. uh, and, and also, <laughs> and also, if you do find the figure, we'll have it with the uh, all the altered reality work shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with a little action earpiece. My cell phone. <laughs> if only. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get a lot of crap for this from Steve and everything. I'm surprised Steve doesn't start doing multi multicolors and have everyone wearing like like years on them now because every right. single year it'll like it kind of saves the fans and all of us because when we see a staff t shirt that says 2022, we know what year the photos are from because <laughs> after a while, unless you're a cosplayer or an artist that put years on certain things. Like guys like me that wear the same shirt like this all the time when I go out, when I'm always in a black t-shirt, and I know for a fact this, there's at least four or five episodes of me wearing a black t-shirt. I can't tell what episode I just did. Yeah. Dude, I noticed that when I'm at like shows too and I take a photo of a celebrity, I don't remember what year it was or what and we name certain years, like the year of Stan Lee, uh, you know, different stuff. That's how we refer to stuff. All right, I got a hundred bucks on the bid. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> All, all proceeds go to charity. Let's do it. I'd do. I would uh, do it if we could all do all proceeds to charity. I would. I would so be down for it. Right. We gotta talk to a toy manufacturing company. We'll do all to proceeds go to charity. Uh, we'll have Rhode Island Comic Con pick the charity of the choice, and we'll go straight there. 
Yep. We will sign it. Here's the thing. You can easily find me at the show. <laughs> but you have to come to the Saturday night party just to get him. And you have to catch him before his first. You have to catch him before his first and last beer and make sure he's not working. And if it's not like last time where Epic Epic Rap Battle was there too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I was drunk. Where where the line was already out the door. And by the time I went to the door, Michael goes, where were you? It's like, I've been waiting for you the whole entire time. And I'm going, <laughs> waiting for the line to cut down. Because, but you could have just walked right in. And I had to, we had to explain the whole story and everything, why I waited to the very end to do it. So Yeah. Uh, which was a, which was really great. I'm not, I was not a big fan. Still, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of those guys. But to see them live. To see the whole performance and everything was really cool. It was a really awesome experience. And those fans, especially at that show, Rodan and Comic-Con, experienced something pretty cool. Yeah. Those are one of our better after parties, too. One of your most packed after parties. Oh, yeah. Definitely. One of our most packed. <laughs> uh, shh. Yeah, right? <laughs> shh. Shh. We hit maximum capacity. and We had a good couple of laughs out of it, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Real bad. Wasn't there a karaoke moment afterwards, or or was that the year after? See, here's the thing: they need a shirt that has years on it, because why? I got two moments blurred together because because there was incidents that happened after the party. Oh yeah, we we've had some moments. <laughs> There's a few incidents that happened after the party, and they are blurs. But the Vader one is with epic, yeah. The Vader, the Vader story goes with epic rap battle story. Never mind. Anyway, we need another show to talk about these lovely stories. Anyway, yeah. uh, I want to be blacked out so no one sees me and my voice is muffled. Then we'll talk. <laughs> just wear, really? Just, just, just wear a mask and you can't yeah, tell. Right. You. <laughs> All proceeds go to the McDonald's. No. Yeah. Uh, yet again, the Seth Rollins is basic. I know. Uh, by the way, congratulations, Seth Rollins, on your first child. Yes. Uh, just not too long ago. I believe it was the second day. Uh, him and uh, Beth, Fee, uh, oh my God, Becky Lynch, uh, just posted a photo of just hands of their hands and their child. Congratulations to yeah. Seth Rollins. Awesome, congrats. Yes, ah, it's my favorite guy. I love Seamus. I absolutely love this dude. Wait, wait, wait. Should we use this figure? Should we use this oh, figure for the basic? Almost, almost of, as, of, well, probably almost as white as I really am in real life. Seriously, like I have no right. hands. So because this is probably this white. Because we have we have we have the um, the mayhem figure. You <laughs> guys have to help us. You guys, you guys have to figure out. With, with me, there's probably one of two choices anyway. There's probably just very few. But for Sammy and Leslie, you guys have to help us out with Sammy and Leslie. Yeah. Especially uh, with Sammy, Leslie would be easy. Uh, with Sammy. Especially when it comes to the, with the basic action figures, the WWE action figures, help us select a basic one. <laughs> I don't like the basics. Wait, uh, are you talking about Epic Rap Battle? Uh, no, he's, he doesn't like Seamus. Are you like oh, Seamus? I, I just oh. love this dude. I don't know why. Something about him. So I really don't like a lot of the newer wrestlers because I find some of them, they don't have good mic skills. Personally, you watch some of their, their matches. They're not very good wrestlers. They don't seem to know how to stand certain areas, the way okay. they hit their chops, things like that. I know, but this dude, there's something about him. I just, I just, I like him for a wrestler. Here's probably why. Okay, in less than a year, or almost, let I'd be less than a year, or into his second year in WWE, he became world heavyweight champion, and that probably rubbed off a lot of people the wrong mm -hmm. way. Here he is. Fresh, uh, fresh into WWE, and he already got a championship. Granted, his championship wasn't that long of a reign, but he ended up getting a championship. And then later, they moved him to ECW. Right? Did he get these things? So. I think I got I that did. wrong. I may have gotten that wrong. Then he ends up winning the Spinner Championship belt, and then later winning the Scratch WWE, and then later the clean version of the WWE title. Uh, when he first started, yes. But I think he was, at the time... It was good. He he had a lot of push. And the best part about him was, this will sound very wrong in every single way, next to every other character, he looked like mayo, like mayonnaise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just to say it. And every other character looked like they had a really great tan and they, and they went to the Caribbean or to Miami that weekend. Yep. Next to him, every person looked like they had a, an amazing tan. And you have to love it. And just, just, just for fun, I did like him in the the Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, and yeah. I feel like he was the stronger character out of 
everyone besides Raphael, he was the strongest character and he was even stronger than Casey Jones. Sorry, Stephen Amell, you sucked. I didn't but, mind him as the as nah, you know no, nah, nah, but no, nah. you know the wittiness, the wittiness. Casey yeah. Jones has wit. And I I think they tried to do the arrow with him in a way, kind of in a way, but it didn't work well. Like we see him so much as the arrow, and then all of a sudden he's in that role and he's supposed to be a comic guy. It just didn't play right. No, it, no. He was too much he, of a straight guy from the arrow, you know. Series. He's been, I, I'm not gonna lie. I see him in a lot of romantic movies, very little action movies or some action with little romantic. I also see him being the damsel in distress. Who? Stephen Amell. I see Stephen Amell as the damsel in distress. Yeah. I see his. I love his brother. I think his brother. I think his brother can play the action role to the to the comedy role better than him any day. Oh, Robbie like definitely. Should, Ro, uh, Robbie definitely has the more acting chops. I think personally. Yeah, and especially yeah. with him on that new Netflix. Was it at, uh, the Amazon Prime movie that he did where he was oh, dead yeah. and they load him up into the afterlife of like of the computer afterlife version of it. Yep. He's great in it. I gotta check that show out. Thank you for reminding me about that. Thank you. I want to see that show. I remind me. Reload something like that. Loaded. Yeah. Something. I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but I know it's a Netflix. Uh, it's an Amazon uh, TV series. But anyway, back to Miracle Whip over here. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love the fact that they gave him like the like he did a James Hetfield face. Yes. Oh God, yes, he does look like Hetfield from uh, Metallica. Wow. Tell me, he doesn't look at like James Hetfield? Dude, he does. If Damn. he doesn't look like James Hetfield, I don't. I can't. You know, we can't be friends no more. Just, just cancel. Just cancel your subscription. Yeah. No, he does. He really does. Anyway, that's that one. We're gonna get to more basic, more figures anyway. So these are the WWE two packs, and if you guys have purchased the WWE commemorative championship belts, uh, the latest commemorative belts, you can now change the side plates. And what's really cool is. Some of the new figures coming out now come with a single side plate. I don't know why. Some of them will come with two. Some of them will come with a single side plate. These are your two packs that come with the side plates. These are the WWE Showdown two-pack series one. So you get your first one where it's Finn Balor and Roman Reigns. So what's cool is we always talk about the stands. Yep. We talk about this, the base, the, the base for every figure to stand on. What's cool is these these uh, the side plate ideas are also stands for your figures, yeah. which is great, and I love the logos on them too, and they work so well. My curiosity here is uh, Finn Balor and Roman Reigns are they related? No, no. they look the, these the way their face molds are. They look Samoan, like they could be related. Irish. Yeah, Samoan, but I'm just saying you look at the, you look at the Irish. faces. Though. Just look at the faces right now. Tell me they do not look somewhat like they could be related. Could be it could be his descendant, you know, many yeah. many years down the line from Samoa. I yeah, believe one. I believe so. From from what Rikishi uh, uh, taught me not not too long ago, which when I did hang out with Rikishi, he did explain to me that the island of Samoa, there's another island above them that is part of the English territory. So the one island above them is an English territory, while Samoa is an American territory. But oh, nice. what's really interesting. Uh, what and then and then the islands below those are Australian islands. Hmm. So they have three different territories, and that's something that I was taught by Rikishi. I may have mixed up maybe one of the two islands, and one of them right. is in English. So I know cool. one of them, Island of Samoa, is a U.S. territory. They use the U.S. dollar uh, and everything there too. There are islands below it heading towards Australia and New Zealand that are a part of the uh, um, that is part of New, uh, New Zealand and Australia. Hmm. So who knows? Maybe yeah. he's a descendant. Could be related. Could yeah, be. that or they just use the face mold somewhat similar. I don't know. You know, uh, otherwise he could throw in his B card every now and then. He's going to throw in his Samoan card. <laughs> yeah. And then you see Roman Reigns, it, like his uh, chest plate. I know it looks like that, but it kind of looks like Spider Man's logo in a way. There you is see the chest plate? very oh, yeah, similar no, this to Spider-Man. One, yes, this one still has a chest plate. The next figures that they're going to have down the line will no longer have his chest shield anymore. So yeah. uh, you definitely want to get these because they will no longer re resemble the shield. <laughs> um, because after Dean Ambrose like left WWE, they quickly removed, they made sure that there was no more chest piece no more because they reminded everyone of the shield. But anyway, as you see the next piece, these are the, uh, the, uh, the clips. 
they go on your championship belt. So if you have purchased the exclusive championship belt for your kids, guess what? They can now get the new nameplates. Pretty cool. There's your two-pack. Boxcar is pretty cool, too. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? You know what it looks like? It looks like when you got the Rocky Balboa uh, two-packs from uh, from Jack Specific. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. I, I, something about the gold on it. A lot of gold. It's got a lot of gold on the on the piece. I like I gold. Like gold. <laughs> <laughs> I love gold. Uh, we also have the uh, Sasha Banks and the Alexa Bliss two-pack. Please bear in mind of uh, Sasha Banks's face because they have used that same facial feature as one of their other basic figures. So her smile yeah. looks way off, man. Like the Joker. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So it is all right. So it's not just me. Looks no, like the Joker true. smile. Yeah. She is going to be once she starts doing conventions, she is going to make a mint because of the Mandalorian. She will not be doing conventions unless it's San Diego Comic Con or New York Comic Con. We know this for a fact. Like I said, uh, when she starts doing them outside of yes. that, she's yes, going to make a right. mint because Star Wars fans are going to go crazy for her. And it'll probably be two to three years before uh, we get her Hasbro edition action figure, which will be really cool. And it'll yep. probably be a one in one. So it'll definitely be a must grab unless they continue the uh the uh the mandalorian storyline where she is with bo katan mm -hmm. and i know that she does a lot of convention well she'll do the conventions and wwe you got to reach out to them but if wwe offers like hey we want x amount of dollars a convention uh, is going to have some people from the mandalorian they're going to pay for it because they want her and fans will go for her autograph you know it as well as i do Keep in mind, Sasha was a Sasha Banks. I, I know Sasha Banks and Bailey were at New York Comic Con two years ago, and you'll see them back probably uh, in high demand. Probably not so because WWE has a habit when a wrestler is in high demand, they don't really bring them out as often. It depends where they are. That's what sucks. You know, there's your mm. two pack. Yeah, because I remember if, if I remember New York Comic Con wanted two other, they wanted two other wrestlers. Instead, Finn Balor was injured, so they were able to send Finn Balor. And I think Bailey and Sasha were also injured as well, too, and they were able to just to send him over there, too. Something happened where they were injured. So WWE has a habit of pulling back the wrestlers where when they're popular, they're not allowed to be there. Like when I was in Puerto Rico Comic Con, they pulled Bray Wyatt and gave us uh, Ricochet at the Puerto yeah. Rico Comic Con. So because... Bray Wyatt's character was getting popular before he was able to come back to WWE, and they had pulled him from the from the uh, from the show. Also, a must grab would be the Undertaker and the uh, uh, the Jeff Hardy, because we all know Undertaker's retired. So Undertaker toys are pretty hot ticket items these days. Yeah, so I mean cool. it, it's American badass. That's all we gotta ah, say. And okay. yep. And you know what, though? Uh, I know uh, Mike uh, said it too. Jeff Hardy is one of his favorite wrestling figures. I loved the Hardy Boys. You know, the two of them with all of their matches that they did with, you know, Christian Edge and the Dudleys and stuff like that. Some of those matches were, oh my God, absolutely stellar. brutal. But they were amazing to watch. The athleticism of them guys, absolutely incredible. Like that guy can still fly around the ring. I'm absolutely incredible uh, by it. But you missed it last month, last last uh, last match. Oh, Not so good, missed, dude. He he literally hit his head on the steel steps. Ooh! But Ugh. luckily, it was he landed on the guy into the steps later, so it wasn't like a full kind of thing. It was oh, he would have been bumped. I know he's gonna be off TV for a while just for protocol, even though he did he passed his concussions test. So gotta be careful. Still, it, it, it's enough where it looked like he almost broke his neck. It looked like a, uh, a look. yeah. Yeah. Last time it, it they had something like that in the ring happen, they cut away to the crowd and you could see the crowd going, <gasps> and it was Owens when he hit the turnbuckle. Yeah. That, I mean, there's no cutting around the crowd because that crowd's a delayed crowd. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's your two pack art. Uh, there's your two pack box art, what it looks like. Happy hunting for your kids. Happy hunting for your uh, Christmas gift hunting. Uh, I know these are available on Amazon right now. Uh, and Target and Walmart pretty much don't even have them listed. And uh, there's a two other websites as well, too, that have them. So uh, good luck getting them. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. 
for everyone watching. Oh, yes. Uh, we also have the Elite Collection Series 81. We have uh, uh, Angelo uh, Dawkins, uh, one half of the uh, tag team champions. <laughs> so pretty cool, though. You made fun of the fact that he looks like his his pants to leg ratio look like he's a little person. His upper body to leg to it does not look right. I'm just saying this does not look right. He looks like a dwarf that they cut off. Well, they definitely have to fix this. They definitely have to fix this because of his shorts and everything. Because his shorts don't bend at the knee that bad over there. Uh, yeah. Yes, as Mike says, you don't want the smoke. You don't want. The oh, smoke. is that who that guy is? No, it's this. It's the tag team. That's one of the catchphrases. Okay, yeah, because I've heard that that tag team, uh, you know, uh, catchphrase. I've heard that before. Yes. Um, I'm not a big fan of the of the of the pant of the shorts and everything to leg ratio. It does take away from it, but he does wear shorts and they are kind of long. So I'm interested to see how they do with a second set of figures. Mm -hmm. Um, because I know they have a I know they have a basic line out. This is the first time you get them with their first jackets and with their hands. I can't wait to see what they do when they have their blue outfits of them holding their SmackDown titles. This will be really cool. To me, I feel like this is like the first in line. I feel like this is the first in line for their elites. Yeah. Uh, you also have uh, Bianca Belair, you know, especially with her long hair. What's really cool is this is the Barbie hair. You got also you got Barbie hair on her because that hair is loose on her all the time. And what's cool the is Lord, she's it. able to wrestle with that hair. It does not bother her one bit. That hair is swinging. Is that I real like, or is it yeah. like a weave or something? Probably is a weave, but it's still pretty cool that it's a weave. Lord, she could kill somebody with that thing in the ring. Right? Still pretty cool, though. The fact she wrestles with it is pretty cool. And wow. uh, we also got the Mae Young. We did say, we did show this Mae Young figure not too long ago, but we did get more images uh, because of the fact that we got to see that she comes with a crown and she also comes with the women's trophy. That's awesome. Yeah, she does. She yeah, perfect. but could you, Mike? Could you imagine her like if she was a Mortal Kombat character? She had a blade on the end of it. She looks like with the way she's made, she could be in the next Mortal Kombat game. Yeah, I could see that way. She would whip somebody who has a cut at the end and right. just build you know, a cat, like build a character likeness of her, but then has the hair extension. Use her face. Use her body. Like use her face and her voice. She is a, that hair. That idea is a Mortal Kombat character. Oh yeah, all day. Uh, I can see and, that. And as I'm going to say, two years from now, four years from now, cut the check. <laughs> you said it first. Hashtag cut, the, cut check. the check. Hashtag cut the check. Cut it. We're gonna, we're gonna. I mean, thank you, Mayhem. But you know. <laughs> yes, she's also married. Yes, to the, we we have his figure. Don't worry of the of the of the one of the other guys from Street Profits. Yes, we'll get to him in a minute. Which is Rye Montez. For aka her husband, <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. like I look at him right now. I I just want to see you know somebody, uh, the godfather, the uh, whole train right there. D tell me, it doesn't have like the whole train, like the way he does, like this. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, out. when I feel like you should, you should get them to throw your after party. If you <laughs> had them throw your after party, especially right now, I will, I will write that check for Rhode Island Comic Con as long as I get it back. You know, plus the plus of fifteen percent or twenty five percent. I will cut that check to get them from WWE, which I heard is isn't a, you know is, is a lot, but isn't a lot kind of thing. Just to have them for Rhode Island Comic Con and have them host your after party for Saturday. They look like they'd be fun. <laughs> Hell's yeah, and and it'll be all about the solo cups that weekend alone. It will be all about those blue or red solo cups. Hey man, everyone loves the solo cups. Pretty cool though. I feel like I feel like we can update Mayhem if he takes away the dreads. That's what we, that's what we got. <laughs> All cut, ripped. Like yeah, let's go. This is okay. So this is the cut. We were talking about uh, we were talking about uh, Mayhem's workout and stuff. This is the cut he wants to get, and this is where he's trying to get. This is one of his. This is one of his man goals. This is one of his goals of him looking a certain way. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies, especially ladies, you're watching. Yes, a boy, <laughs> a boy is trying to look like that. The red solo cars dropping off. Yep, pretty much. They're see, man, they're for it. 
Hashtag. We should do our new hashtag: Street Profits for Rhode Island Comic Con. Right? We're gonna do a hashtag: Street Profits. <laughs> Street Profits for Rhode Island Comic Con. You know, we'll we'll, we'll quick. We're gonna add that. We're gonna add that too. Okay. We're gonna do. <laughs> You're horrible. <laughs> And we all know you guys, every time you see the Street Profits, right, you guys are tagging them or whatever. I want you guys to do a hashtag Street Profits for Rhode Island Comic Con. That's what we want, guys. Street Profits for Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> I so hate you right now. I'm going to text later from Steve. If Cut it out. Montes for and his tag team partner and his wife ever decide to watch this pain in the butt crappy show that we call This Week in Toy Culture, please hashtag Street Profits for Rhode Island Comic Con. I Are they East Coast guys? Right? If I'm mistaken, aren't they? Aren't they? Isn't one of them from the, from the New England area? What if they miraculously, randomly walk into the building? You're, you're horrible. Shut up. I'm so good at this. <laughs> Who? How dare you? How? You know what? You're cut off. I feel like I'm going to block you for the night. <laughs> it's almost getting fired. <laughs> yeah, hash. That's getting fired. How, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> There's the box art. Pretty cool. Little, you know, what, what mayhem will look like without the beard and uh, <laughs> without the dreads. This is what mayhem could look like. Get the Montez. Uh, I believe the Montez Ford figure and his tactic partner are out right now. So uh, happy hunting. I know I saw a few of them. I saw them one day at Target. The next time I went to that same Target, they were gone. So if you get them, you're a big, you love the WWE action figures. Happy hunting. And I know some of you guys have kids that love wrestling too. So uh, we also got the Shensuke Nakamura action figure. So there's two versions of these, this one and a chase figure. And it also comes with the new WWE Intercontinental Championship belt. <laughs> Did you see this one? <laughs> Did you see? Yeah. yeah. Fusco got jokes. This, Fusco. by the way, by the way, I like to mention right now, this is Fusco's idea because he mentioned me privately during this time saying do the hashtag Street Profits for Rhode Island Comic Con. And technically, it's not a bad thing. We're promoting... <laughs> Oh, oh, Fusco said it, huh? Yeah, I see how it Fusco is. Fusco said this as well, too. So this is uh, Fusco's idea. This is Fusco's idea. Telling There's Sensei Nakamura with the blue. I'm telling uh, mom. <laughs> with the blue leotard. We also have the black leotard as well, too, with him wearing the new uh, Intercontinental Championship belt. Remember, as much as this is not the first in line, this is the first in line where they introduced the new Intercontinental Championship belts. So if you are a collector of titles with different action figures, I've always liked my wrestlers to have the titles. Like if I've ever collected any wrestling figures, I never, I never select them individually. I always collect them with the titles because I like my wrestlers with their the same way how I build the posters with titles on them. Yeah, like I want my champions. Well, people want they want champions. They want that. Right. I don't know what this is all about. You guys, you guys, I know know, like, you guys, you guys are all like in like a cloud of your like. I feel like I'm getting buddy on my own show sometimes, you know, with you guys, especially, you know, five, five of you guys from the New England territory. Anyway, there's, there's your Shensuke Nakamura. Happy hunting. Happy hunting for your chase if you end up finding one or getting one. And if you can't find one, go and check your local, uh, local comic book shops or retail shops. They may be lucky enough to get a few of them in or someone decided to trade them in because they no, no longer had room for them in their private collection. You also have my favorite, which he didn't know all about, is the stunning Steve Austin. Let me say this again. The stunning Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just This one creeps me out. He is this here. Is, he's, he's smiling. This he is, looks happy. This is the stunning before the... Um, this is the stunning before the Stone Cold. And the reason why he is the stunning... He is part of the Hollywood Blondes with his tag team partner, Brian Pillman. Still cannot believe that. I do not remember this when I was younger. All happy faced and all, you know, we're going to go with dad bod. <laughs> well, before a <laughs> second. Uh, so 
This is when he had hair where his hairline was close to mine pretty much and then slowly thinning. That this is before he made his promo on w on ECW before going into WWE as the ringmaster. So at that time, uh Stone Cold Stunning Steve Austin was a tag team champion. And recently we I don't know if we showed the figure or not. He has the United States Championship belt that he won in WCW. Make him as the ringmaster. <laughs> Well, they did do the ringmaster figure where, remember, he had the crew cut hair. So if you bought the Steve Austin action figure, uh, he comes with the crew cut hair and he comes with the million dollar belt. It is the only other action figure. They have not released Virgil with the million dollar belt yet either. And they also, I don't know if they missed out on his son, Ted DiBiase Jr., wearing the million dollar belt as well, too. I, I honestly I don't remember Stone Cold other than Steve Austin. Only a Stone Cold Steve Austin. I really must have blacked out him being stunning Steve Austin. Like I don't because, know because WCW at the time was so I don't know how to explain it that you've missed a lot of the mid card stuff because you were so enticed to the heavyweight championship belt that yeah. when it came to real tag team competition. Well, also this is before the invasion as well too. This is before um, uh, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash were in WWE. So. This is at the time where you had the Hollywood Blondes as tag team champions. And then you had later the Outsiders becoming tag team champions. Yeah. So anything I outside. Remember the outsiders. Anything, I remember that. Why. I don't remember these guys. But you also, yet again, here's where WWE can actually get, get more figures. They have never released the Outsiders yet with these tag team belts, with these uh, WCW tag team belts. And they haven't released... Uh, Kevin Nash, no, Scott Hall with the United States title. They also haven't released Hacksaw Jim Duggan with the U.S. title. Yeah. Even though Hacksaw Jim Duggan has been going to a lot of conventions, bringing the WCW United States title with him. So, there we go. I feel like you guys are all just on a whole other level oh, of sanity. Argument. Yes, there you go. With the, with the clap... He's got for the Hollywood Blondes. This will also go great with your Gold Dust figures if you still have your Gold Dust figures around. Oh yeah, yeah. Or Val Venus. <laughs> or Val. Not really for Val Venus. Oh, he likes to cut the movie. He he likes to make the movie with the ladies. Yeah, he remember? does like to make movies. <laughs> Times. What's up, Val? If you're actually watching, and he watches on actually, to be honest, he watches the skits on Instagram. So when I cut this out for later for Instagram. I'm gonna mention Val Venus. Yes, Val Venus. We did mention during this time as well too, especially when it you know. That episode happened on Monday Night Raw. Uh, flashback episodes with that one in Ken Shamrock days. Good fights, though. Good, actually, I love yeah. actually, to be honest, that was a great little feud. Uh, Ken Shamrock and Val Venus back then. Um, wasn't Val oh, Venus wait. dating Shamrock's uh sister or something? Yes, yes, she was <laughs> dating uh Shamrock's sister. Yep, those are great matches. Those are good, oh, such good times, I such good storylines. Do his attitude era storylines. I, I don't know. It creeps me out. It does it? It's not Stone Cold. I don't see the knee braces. You know, I don't see the bear it's king. King. Remember, okay, head. okay. Also, ring mat. Okay, people also forget too. Also, Ringmaster did not wear ring knee braces later. It wasn't until later down the line where he ended up getting his knees blown during matches. Okay. So during Ringmaster days too, he also didn't have a uh, knee brace. Remember, this is a younger Steve Austin. Oh yeah, uh, obviously. This is a younger Steve Austin. And shout out to Val Venus as well, too. <laughs> There's your box art as well, too. I love the look on him. I can't believe they got this, this face on him. I can't believe they probably got him to smile for Hot Minute. Like, let's get a smile out of you, Stone Cold. We'll add your hair in later. Right? <laughs> we'll add your hair in later. But I love that. I got to go back. I got to go back. That smile, man. That smile. Because if why, you will not get that smile of Stone Cold Steve Austin unless you tell him a really good joke or he's telling you a good story. Because in public, man, you'll never get that smile. If anybody hasn't tried his beer, it is delicious. Go get it. I have not really been good. able to get his beer yet in New York. So good. so good. And you also had Smiling Rock as well, too. The WrestleMania edition of the Smiling Rock. Yeah, but the Rock always smiled, you know? You rarely ever got Stone Cold Steve Austin smile unless he was, you know, stomping a mud hole in somebody. And it usually was Vince McMahon. When it was that, that's when he smiled a lot. He loved that. I love the updated arm joints and everything. As I'm looking at the figure, I'm looking the um the updated arm joints. Yeah. 
Because you know when you've always bent your fig a figure and you always have that one piece like sticking out yep. completely as I do, like sticking out, it always stuck out somewhere. <laughs> Give them a couple bears. So there's your rock action figure. I like the fact that it's certified authentic as if like it's right? not like a real figure. Are, are people getting stuff from China? Is that what's been going on? They're getting it from Wish. You they're know, from Wish. We're going to go back to this for a hot minute. You know what? Street Profits for Rhode Island Comic Con. Bring the smoke. Bring the smoke to Rhode Island Comic Con. Cut the check. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> <laughs> We also got happy hunting for this one because I know a lot of you guys that are big Dusty Rhodes fans and due to the fact that you have uh, Cody Rhodes and Dustin Rhodes in AEW, got to put the family, got to put the family always together. Yeah. What sucks we'll never get and I wish Mattel WWE kind of failed on is the family three pack of this one. Mm. Just to have when Cody Rhodes was still in WWE and you had Goldust. Even if they messed around with it, had Stardust and Goldust there, or had Dust, you know, had Dustin, um, had Dustin when he wore the shorts or whatever away from the Goldust character. And I'm happy they didn't do the the SM version of Goldust. I'm so happy they didn't do those figures. Mm -hmm. Except for one. So happy they didn't do those. It was so bad. So bad. Anyway, there's your Dusty Rhodes. I wish they added her girl his girlfriend to it. Especially yeah. with the set. Man, I just remember watching him back in the day wrestling when he came on TV. Such a good I, guy. I don't remember her name, but I but but they also have to go backwards. I don't know if they're gonna have the rights to this. I don't know if they're gonna have the rights to this continuing on. But they need to have him in this like his first NWA title run when he was a little thinner. But I don't know who's gonna have the rights to the NWA line because WWE cannot like produce. I, I, I besides besides um um I know one time one of the Ric Flair action figures came with an NWA title during the WWE days, but Doctor Death also walked in with an NWA title. Okay. So I'm trying to see if they're ever going to allow that. The closest thing they're ever going to do with the NWA title is allowing Big Goal to be on their waist. That is the only authorized NWA title. Kind of interesting though, and weird at the same time, right? Yeah. If they like because if they because if, if they still have the right to dust because if, if they say if they still have the rights to Dusty Rhodes, and they do his NWA uh, uh, figures, are they going to give him world title or are they give him the NWA title? They'll probably do world title. Yeah. Yeah. And if though, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of a uh, kind of interested to see what they would do with it. So pretty cool. With the top hat one. This was when he was a voodoo one, right? The voodoo. This was pre Papa so. Shango, before Papa Shango. I like yeah. the fact that we get this and the updated version would be, would be Papa Shango. Right. <laughs> Why wasn't he the manager of Papa Shango when he came out? Remember, <sighs> Papa Shango wasn't talking. They they brought him as a character, didn't talk. He just wrestled. And, and until, the, uh, until the Ultimate Warrior incident, which if everyone has, has everyone's ever watched, the the backstage we'll say the backstage vomit area which was way too long and how they managed to do it i have no idea why couldn't they get dusty Rhodes to talk on papa shango's behalf dude hey missed opportunities you know it happened you, know you and i are gonna have a side talk show just to talk to papa shango for a hot minute just to be like yo we gotta know right now just to get this out of the way right now, forget we're gonna start the show with Dusty Rose. Why didn't he come in being your guy? But I think at the time, I think it was part of WCW, so that's probably why it didn't work. Probably. So still pretty cool though. Those are the accessories. Comes with like cape, whatever, the top hat, the claw. I believe mean, it was the eagle claw or vulture claw that came with it. I still no. have the China, that crazy birthmark. Like yeah. The, this is, but his birthmark is not to be that bright. So, no, it's nice that they added it though. Uh, these figures coming up, I don't know exactly when they'll be coming out, but they are coming out with the King Corbin. 
uh, recently write of him winning the King of the Ring with his black uh, with his black um, crown and scepter. I love the cape that comes with it too. We also have the new uh, Sasha Banks. I'm waiting for her to do the. I'm actually waiting for her to do the Mandel colors for her next costume. Or maybe Probably will for WWE uh, for WrestleMania. I know Mike's favorite, not you, Mike, the other Mike. <laughs> uh, we're gonna say Mike March, your favorite, right. Seamus. Miracle Whip. This is something I will be shocked if this gets released. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because sooner or later down the line, this is one of the WWE figures. Zelina Vega is currently fired from WWE, and this will be a Target exclusive. I wonder if this figure will still be released. And if it is, it's going to be super, super limited because this is her last action figure. Yeah. Unless... Unless Figure Toys Inc. decide to do like those like third party toys for her and go back to her indie look, I can see those figures coming out and they're okay to get. But if you have, but if you like your favorite indie wrestler, it's kind of cool that your favorite indie wrestler or your favorite major wrestler going into indies figure has an extra action figure. You were about to say something. I think like the only way you're going to see this being made is if the mold was actually already done. Right. That's the only way you're getting that done. If it hasn't been done and they've already, you know, axed her, this won't get done. Right. She was just axed not too long ago. And normally yeah, like storylines, right? Like, they will probably release this. Uh they will probably release this really fast just to collect a paycheck from her one more time. Yeah. I feel like they're still gonna do it because in a way, this will be the last Zelina vi- uh, figure released by WWE, and it looks like it's gonna be exclusive at Target. So if you are one of those people that have to collect action figures and expect her doing a lot of Comic Cons, a lot, a lot, a lot of Comic Cons, because you already know her ch- her Twitch channel is already blowing up as of right now. Mm-hmm. So expect her to do a lot of Comic Cons this year. Maybe she makes an appearance to. I don't know. Don't you start that? I don't know nothing. <laughs> don't start that. We also have her husband, Alistair Black. Um. That's his costume. And, of course, that changed as well, too. So this is here today. Gone also yesterday as well, too. This will be coming down, down the line. He's the poster child for when you go into a tattoo parlor and you look at the wall and you're like, I want that tattoo. Like, look the, at him. This is this is the millennial tattoo collection where it's just like it's spotty tattoos. It's not really one connected after another. Yeah. It was almost like, uh, what was the uh, least thing? Maroon 5 where he looked like he put on a sleeve out of nowhere? Yeah. Like That's what this guy looks in. like. You walk in a tattoo parlor and you're like, I need my first tattoo. Can I get that? And they just have a picture of him. <laughs> All I will say is cape thing looks pretty badass. I'm sorry. I'm so- I'm sorry. Not sorry. You watched it. I'm sorry. You chose to watch this. We also have the Liv, uh, the Liv Morgan one. Of course, this, this costume has already changed as well, too. Back to her Riot Squad uh, gear. Where it's more colorful, a colorful. This was going to be part of her dark persona, which will have the one-off figure. So her next one is going to say Morgan Riot Squad or Riot Squad right after this. So yet again, this is going to be one of those pretty cool one of the uh, one-off action figures because after this she goes back to after this she went back to her regular colorful uh, uh, Riot Squad colors, which is the the blue and the red, whatever her and Ruby Riot wear together. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I don't know if it's last but not least, you also have the Undertaker from the previous WrestleMania where he wrestled his last match against AJ Styles. This is the action figure based off that WrestleMania. So the fact that this is coming out, guys, this is his last match attire. We have a lot coming out that's going to be last of... And it's interesting to like see like the series, the the Lee Collection 84, 84 and 85 soon to be coming out, where you have the Liv Morgan one-off, you have the uh Celine, um the Vega uh one-off as well, too. And you're gonna have the last match attire of the Undertaker, unless they add him with a bike, just like you would with Marvel Legends. Mm. <laughs> and God knows what kind of bike they're gonna give you with that one. This or looks- unless Totally badass. Or unless they do a two pack with AJ Styles and they give you like the background of what some of the matches were. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing I can see them really doing. But this will be the first and sort of last 
Undertaker attire costume. Pretty cool. No, this is definitely cool. Like it's Undertaker, man. You know, he has a, 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 a TikTok uh, profile now, and yes. I guess his wife was doing it, and she had the mask on, like the Undertaker, and she popped up and had the music and everything. And they're in their closet, like their clothing closet, and he flips the light and just looks at us. Yeah, they're not going to believe that, and he just walks out. I was like, holy crap, that's the Undertaker. That's awesome. You know, did a great job with it. Well, just give me a hot second as we keep talking because I'm going to skip like a lot of the old wrestling figures because we're going to save it for next week because why? You guys are so upset with obsessed with Funkos that I don't even know where to start, where to begin. I don't like you guys like one thing. You guys like another thing. You guys are constantly bombarding us for, for Hunt. I know you bombard this guy for a lot of the stuff and I don't know. We've, we've been telling you time and time again, go to GameStop, go to these websites, get your pre-orders on. You're going to spend an extra dollar. You're going to spend an extra dollar to some of the extra uh, extra stores. Yeah. All right? If you spend $15 on the Funko, I'm so sorry. You chose to spend $15. If you spend $50 on a, on a Funko Pop, that's because you chose to pay the 50 bucks for that. Yep. Why would you do it? You know, sometimes it's a rare pop. You need to get it for your collection. Um, the value of them goes up, just like the action figures do because of something on it. You know, Chase, a different box. Sometimes the artwork's different than the figure that's in it. The game rock figure that's totally different. A Vince McMahon one that's totally different than yeah. what's on the artwork. So, I mean, I can get it where they do that separately. So, it's Especially unique. with the figure. Because I mean, remember, all I had to do with the Power Rangers was just add two lines on it, and it was a crazy exclusive to between one power ranger to the other one just on two lines and mm -hmm. we've seen the same action figure get used time and time again on just colors remember the first original funko pops had no poses it was just generic painted on bodies and they just said this is supposed to look like this this is supposed yep. to look like this and then when it came to bald characters how do you do the bald characters to the haired characters one guy's a mohawk how do you do the mohawk one guy's a beard yep. how do you do the beard and the girls, now they're doing now they're doing mouths on them now way before right, it was they, never a mouth and now they're gonna have mouths. Remember when it came to the animal ones, how they look like? They still have mouths, they had pieces. They... Yep. But throughout the years that they've started with Funkos, they've gotten better. Mm -hmm. They've tapped into our childhood. They've how do I say this without they have reinvented, they have reinvented the pet rock. Yeah, right. Funko Pops have reinvented the pet rock, a.k.a. the Beanie Baby. They have reinvented the pet rock. So true. So true, the Beanie Baby. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone of all ages, I bring to you the new edition of the Funko Disney line. And that is, <laughs> that is the Gummy Bears. Adventures of the Gummy Beers, man. This is Cubby, like my childhood. This is Disney. You're singing the song. Can you sing the song? No, sing the song. No one wants to hear me sing if it. If someone wants to sing the song right now, you have to message us right now. We'll 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 bring you on for a hot second. You, you and your own your only job is to sing the song, and you get a cut off. All right, you got to <laughs> sing the full song. That's it. You got to sing the Gummy Berry song. However, ah <laughs> uh, man, this this is this was one of those shows. I remember it was like the. What was it tell like afternoon not, show? Tell, tell me you're not humming it in your head right now as, you, as you're singing it. I'm singing the song in my head right now, big time. Dun, dun, um, dun, 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 dun. I don't know the words anymore. But this, this is like, like I remember getting home like three o'clock, three, three to three thirty or something from school, and you run in the house and you catch the Disney, you know, hour where it was this show. Um, oh, what the heck was it? There was also there's so many other ones that were on. Tailspin. Uh, Tailspin, Darkwing yes, thank Duck. you. Tailspin, Darkwing Duck. This one you had the uh, uh, DuckTales. Chippendales Rescue, Chip Rescue Rangers. This is all part Rangers. of like that. I don't, I don't know if that's I don't know if exactly we're on at the same time or they haven't played later down the line, but like they were all part of like I like the crossover ones better though. Yeah. You gonna sing is you gonna sing it, bro? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh yeah, you have uh Cubby. You also have your favorite. Oh, God, Gruffy. You got to have Gruffy Bear. 
I like how they're bouncing everywhere. That's the deal. The, the, bouncing, the bouncing pose everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> but I like I like this one the most because it's it's an action pose. It's an action yeah. shot. As if he's gonna hit the ground, his his eye comes up a little bit. The his hat's already flapping up. Yep. Hey, he's ready to bounce pose. off. You know, that was great. And they uh the new Disney uh Ducktales actually did an episode uh where it was they created the gummy juice it's... and it gave them where they could have powers where they could bounce all over the place. It was like something and they had these the gummy berries and you had to mix them in a correct portion to get the power to bounce right. everywhere. It was hilarious, absolutely great. They didn't show them, but it would have right. been great if they did. But you know um, what I realized? But you know what I realized uh, Gummy Bears was? You know what, what it really was a spinoff of? What what's a product Disney doesn't have? What's a to- what's a cartoon line that they wanted but couldn't get? We'll say that. I have no idea. They're blue. Oh, the Smurfs? There you go. These were the Smurfs. Me These too. were the bear versions of the Smurfs. I guess, I Gar- guess so, yeah. All the different Gargamel, things. Gargamel always went after their potion. Which was yep. all the berries. They and their bad guy, which was working at the castle, was going after the gummy berry juice. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Yeah, and he always wanted to collect them and stuff like that. Yeah. He to collect them and yep. get, get the gummy berry juice. This yeah, is I can see that. Disney's version of the Smurfs. Which it yeah, but Disney, me- the good thing about Disney Adventures, the gummy bears, they kept it small. It yes. isn't like over a hundred plus, you know, Smurfs that each one of them had a special you know, job that they did, which right. was great. You know, even though they had the kid, the kid was supposed to be King Arthur, so it was their version of introducing King Arthur, which is part of their lore of the sword and the stone kind of thing. Which I thought was great. And you like how they have the, it looks like a stand for him, so you can pop them on there, so they look like they're jumping all over the place and stuff. Well, so. I think she has the stand, and he has the stand. Yep. So Cubby and Sonny are the only two that have the stand. You also have Tummy. <laughs> my favorite, Tummy. One of my favorites. He reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. He was yes. so Winnie the Pooh. Oh my god! Yes. All Always day eating. Eat. Yep. The only thing missing was him saying, "Oh bother!" But I think did they do it at one point? He says it once, but as a kid, you probably missed it though. I think he gives us one Winnie the Pooh line, and we're going, "Did he just give us Winnie the Pooh line?" <laughs> and then you have. They have, did they do? Oh yes, they did. Zumi, Zummy, Zummy. They did Zummy. Which was, which, uh, the map, which was, yeah. which was Papa Smurf in a way, because he had the Wizard's book. Remember, they both had Wizard's book. Yep. They had an amulet. Yep. And the amulet came to life when they met the kid, and it went towards him, so he knew he was a good person. So that's how they could right. trust him. Yep. And and the only way that book opened was through the me- emulet, and the only other person besides the gummy bears was the little boy yep. that could read the spells. Or was it the boy? Or they added a girl later on too? I, I think they did add a girl to it later on. You know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna probably binge the gummy bears and spend a day or two talking about the gummy bears one of these days. No, <laughs> old school cartoons. Let's go. <laughs> yes, and Tummy does come with the bottle. Like, does it really matter? It comes with a bottle of gummy bear juice. But the thing, the problem with that ba- bottle is it's empty. It's clear. It's supposed to be like a red. It's got a little, it's got a little red uh, drop at the bottom. Looks like it's got a little red spot. Looks clear to me. Looks clear. Yeah. It looks clear. Because why? Because every kid drinks the Dino Tap. It's Dino <laughs> Tap Robotussin. It's Tussin, baby. We also have the uh, Winnie the Pooh Diamond. Yes, Diamond exclusive from Hot Topic. These will be uh, very big sellers for uh, Hot Topic. They're they're currently available for uh, for uh, current sale right now on the Hot Topic website, and I don't know how I found this because I would not have found this at Hot Topic's website unless I was searching for it. I believe mm. someone, um, I believe someone had posted that um, that the Winnie Pooh version existed, that there was a diamond one, and to be honest. I never knew there was a diamond version until I went to a until I went to a toy show and this person had all the diamond edition Funko Pops. They've uh, they do a lot of the diamond versions for Hot Topic. Yeah, of them, it's really cool. It's mostly Disney, it's mostly Disney line that gets a lot of their diamond version. Uh, so they're a little bit more exclusive. Right. They got a little diamond sticker on the front case. Uh, people do go crazy looking for these. They are very popular when they do the releases of them at their stores. 
You also have the Golden Girls. Oh, this is this screams Fusco all day. He's a huge Golden Girls fan. He's got so, the T-shirt. He bought the socks at my GameStop one day. Uh, so wait. Wait, does does he have the bowling shirt? Remember, the bowling shirt was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Does he have the I bowling shirt? Probably doubt we ever he ever got that. Are we gonna get him? Are we gonna get? Oh, yeah. him? We have to find one for him now. I have to if that's the case. No, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna write this week in pop culture Golden Girls edition. <laughs> um. So we have the bowling edition of the Golden Girls. So first of all, we have Blanche. There's the box art to go with it. I mean, guys, if you're a big Golden Girls fan, I know one person is. So happy hunting for everything Golden Girls. You also have uh, Dorothy. I loved her character on that show. Her and Sophia were the best, the two best characters. Pretty funny. I don't remember the bowling episode, but you know. me neither. I have no idea in the bowling episode. None. Right. You also have Rose. Uh, by the way. You better get this. You better get this because I expect if you if you're in the West Coast for a comic convention, I expect Betty White at a Comic Con, very very soon. All I know is she better be in a bubble somewhere. <laughs> Literally, 2020, you can't have her. Don't you right. dare. 2020. Uh, and then last but not least, we also have Sophia. Your favorite. Yep. We gotta get. Love, we really love Sophia. The amount of time that she would make fun of Blanche and uh, Rose was hilarious. Well, especially so, Blanche with her dating, with her dating yeah. stuff, and then Rose was always like the airhead blonde version of stuff. Uh, yes, yes. And it was very easy to play the airhead blonde version, like. Yeah. And I think, if I remember correctly, Sophia was actually one of the youngest on the show. Was Sophia the youngest? I think she was one of the youngest on the show, or something like that. But they made her like out to be the oldest, like she was the. You know, she Dorothy's looked, mom. Well, she did look older. She made, yeah. yeah, she didn't make her look like Dorothy's mom. Yeah, she wasn't the oldest on the show. I don't think she was the oldest, which I thought I was hilarious. I believe she passed first. She did pass first, yes. Okay. Anywho, we also have spoiler alert for everyone. We got the Winter Soldier and Falcon figures from Funko Pop. Uh, so first of the three, they haven't really said anything yet, but next week could also be another story. So get your pre-order starting on right now. I don't know if GameStop has these available on pre-order yet because I didn't see them on the GameStop website. Um, but I know uh, Pop in a Box does have them. So go get your Baron Zo uh, uh, Zemo. Baron Zemo. Your one of your favorite characters, I believe. I do like him for a villain. He is one of my most uh, favorite characters. I think he's a little underrated uh, because but he... I'm a little upset that they are showing him with a mask first. Normally, they would show him first without his mask. Mm -hmm. So, especially if you played the Avengers, watched the Avengers movies, he's still around as a baddie. So, to have him around uh, Winter Soldier, especially him trying to get Winter Soldier back, would be yeah. really interesting. Oh, especially uh, they, if they deprogrammed him correctly, they can't. He can't get him back. Right. I mean, what is he going to do? Detach an arm again and put it back on because he is wearing. The arm from Wakanda, will he get a new arm that isn't black and gold? Right. There's the box art for you lovely cats and kittens out there. And I like the logo. I like the logo for the Falcon Winter Soldier. Like, that is a really good logo. It's very Captain America, too. Like, yeah. they're, still, they're still sticking with the Captain America theme. The only thing um, I have a slight issue with is on the Zemo uh, pop characters, it kind of reminds me of Beachhead from uh, G.I. Joe. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's like... Matt. Well, why, why, why create something? Why create a new mold when one already exists? I agree. I agree. Use it. Why not? Use it. And I bet you we could probably find the Jack in that same pose out of one of the other Funko Pop characters. <laughs> you know, the pan, the, the bottom's yeah. generic. Yep. Uh, we also have spoiler alert. This is what Falcon will look like for the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, story uh, uh, series for Disney Plus. And I think it looks like there's a bit of a costume change, especially from the knee pads to the bottom down. So Yeah. And I like how he has a little robin there, his little red robin that he likes to use as his uh you know, uh like flying piece and part of his arsenal. I think that's yeah. really cool. Uh I, I'd like to say one thing though, and I can tell this person who constantly likes to comment has not paid attention, young man. We have featured the new Falcon and 
and Winter Soldier Shield on the show almost a month ago when Hasbro Pulse released it and it was yeah. sold out within that day. What are you saying? They just got it in the GameStop today. But, but GameStop already had on pre order the same time for the other guys did too. Yeah, but we just got it it's in. Been out. It's well, been out. Look at you, look at you Jabo. You got it. I don't get that in my store because we're closing my store. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer. He thinks he's hot stuff. No. Right. We you also have. Stuff. We also have the updated look of the Winter Soldier. Shorter hair. He's got five o'clock shadow. He it's looks funny. like he's got his Wakanda arm still in his hand, yeah. but something seems a little different too. He looks like he has an updated top compared yeah. to what it was into uh, the last uh, show, into the last movie as well, to Endgame. He looks like he has a whole new top attire. And the funny thing is like, he doesn't look like Luke Skywalker here like I want him to be. I'm just saying. I mean, just, he has a lot in common with Luke Skywalker. He's missing a hand. You know, he's missing an arm. I mean, just saying. It's a lot of similarities. Knows, he knows how to act without a hand, so yeah. it, it'll be very yeah. easy for him to work yeah. with a semi-robotic hand. Yep. And especially it being the left hand. Yep. The left arm. Just saying. So, mm, just saying. Mm. It's a well, little blonde hair to it and everything. You put a lightsaber on that. You could just take the, you could just take this pose right now, change this costume into a dark black or into a white black, white black. Let's go white black, okay? Put a lightsaber on this hand right here, or on this yep. hand, whatever's away from the face. So we'll go with this hand right here. Yep. Make it clean shaven. Put a little blonde streak somewhere around here. Just add a little blonde. Done. Yep. Done, 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 done. Luke Skywalker. So you'll have a Luke Skywalker Winter Soldier crossover. <laughs> you know someone's going to do that now. Someone's going to customize a pop like this. Uh, we'll we'll take a dollar for that one because th those checks are really small. So we'll take a buck for each one you sell. <laughs> uh, more Funko Pops for you guys as well, too. Uh, there's the box art. Happy hunting. I know a lot of you guys who are a big fan of Winter Soldier, and hopefully he will be returning back, especially him and Anthony Mackie, who will hopefully come back to Rhode Island Comic Con. So start collecting now so some of these conventions can be carrying them. And you guys can get some Sebastian, uh, Bach, uh, Sebastian stand for yourselves. All right. We also have the Walmart exclusive 10 inch, 10 inch now, 10 inch Funko Pop of the zombie uh, Marvel zombie line. I just I like, the, I like the bullet mark, but it's green as yeah. if like an alien. Yep. Like his blood is turned into like toxic sludge or something. But I feel like it's missing more green out of it. I feel like the like the face should like the face over here should have more green. Teeth should it's have it, yeah. Teeth should have an ooze of green somewhere. Yep. The only two shots that he has is like on the chest, but like, but it begs the question: Who shot him? Now my question here is like: I thought Deadpool had regenerative, you know, powers. How would right. he be? Him Someone and. Gotta well, here's what's here's what's going to be weird. Certain characters like him, who regenerate, who re, who regenerate, the other person that we're going to see as well too. I like the fact that they're ten inch because I can imagine how they're going to be like. But Hulk, who has gamma radiation, how can he be a zombie? Because he also regenerates his own skin, mm -hmm. unless they're injected to something where they can't. Um, that's the wonderful thing about comics. You know, <laughs> are, the, are, the, are, are they are they teaming with with uh, Image Comics to have a Walking Dead? <laughs> yeah, that won't happen. Uh, well, they just did the new Marvel Zombies uh, storyline. Another one. Yeah, they did another one. And when they do the What If series, there will be a What If series of Marvel yes. Zombies as a teaser. So we'll get a we'll get a live action version of this. Like well, same not this one. animated animated version. Yeah. Same with Wolverine. Wolverine, it being uh, him being zombie also annoys me too. Granted, they did a really good job that you have the bone, his, his yep. adamantium bones, adamantium everything, and his bottom jaws adamantium, which is pretty cool. And that is that is a nice, uh, uh, you know, attention to detail there. His everything you see in the skull is adamantium. You know, you've got the one hand. It's like basically he's Terminator right. style. You know, he's got the Terminator arm there. I'd run for my life if that came after me. Could oh, you imagine? God. You ain't getting away. You're dead. Just just stand there and just take it like a man. 
You think you think James Cameron would come in and do it the his version of Terminator but with Wolverine and they do a robotic exoskeleton cuz there is a storyline where there is a robotic Wolverine. Yes, there is a storyline cool. where there's a robotic Wolverine to the point where uh the the weapon series literally goes out of the way makes a robotic Wolverine that goes on a killing spree. Uh I'd I'd watch that if he did it. Imagine that as a Marvel Legends figure release. <laughs> build, build a figure, a build a figure weapon X build a figure set. Right? Yes. Oh my god. Maybe I'm sorry. The one I think that would be a funny build a figure is if they were able to do the Deadpool one, but then have the Deadpool from the uh from the Wolverine movie. Right. And that's who you have to build. The one from the the which one? The 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 other weapon right, right. Where, he, he, where he had his mouth sewn shut. But it's Deadpool. You got to build it as Deadpool. Collect all the Deadpool figures, and you build that one. If you do that, then you have to release the movie version of Gambit of that movie. You have yep. to release also the Will I Am, and also the Blob. Yep. And could you? And the thing is, I see them doing a build a figure set of the Blob. They could movie set, and it they wasn't a bad. Do. It wasn't a bad movie until you got the CGI missing CGI scene set of that one. Until like I I owned it, I owned the bootleg version before they put everything into it, so it wasn't bad, but it kind of ruined how Deadpool looks. So yes, we also have granted it sold out, but I don't think it is because why? I feel like there's gonna be another edition of this where they're individually done. This is a two pack of Morgan Stark and Tony Stark. Uh, with the Tony Stark helmet relaying the message to his daughter Morgan. If you remember the scene where he's looking for her and she comes out of the tent wearing her mom's gear. Spoiler alert. Spoiler great, alert. Great piece. Uh, it's not a spoiler. It's almost two years later. I ain't I watched it by now. now. Seriously. No. Spoiler alert to things to come. Oh, yeah. It's spoiler true. alert to what things to come. Um, which I can't wait till she probably she puts on the suit and then she has um where she gets uh her father in her head. I'm telling you, that's how they're gonna bring him back. Look, Spider Spider Man has Friday. He's supposed he's supposed to have happy, she's originally supposed to have happy in her head, but happy's still alive. No, I think Ironheart or her Morgan, if she ever does wear the suit. She's gonna have Tony, and that's how they're getting uh, Robert Downey Jr. back into the series. And we're He's already the getting boy. a glimpse. And here's the fun part, guys: when when Hawkeye comes out, we're already gonna get the first glimpse of the Young Avengers. Yep. Yeah, and they just and uh, cast uh, Haley Steinfeld. They didn't as, cast uh, what they just showed just yes just today was her wearing the purple attire. Yeah, they, yeah, but they cast her as his daughter. Yeah, yeah, but that's been cast off. We're talking about the costume now. The costume, oh, okay. they 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 showed the recent scene of her wearing purple, and we're just, everyone's going god for it right now because we didn't get Hawkeye in the purple yet, oh, or in the cowl. That. And I'm told there's supposed to be a cowl involved. Oh, that's gonna be hilarious! I can't wait. Yes, there's the glow and dark version. Pop in a box yes. already has this sold out, but I eventually I will see. We will all see this as a individual set. And what's going to be interesting is, is how, who gets the helmet or are they going to release the helmet to both characters? Could you imagine this? I, I would think, think that have... they put the helmet with the with the glow and with with the Tony Stark. I don't know. It'll be tough to say. Right? It's tough to say. It'll be interesting to see what they do and who they put it with, but it's definitely a nice piece to have. This is something if you're a glow in the dark fan, this is an, a key integral piece of your collection. Yeah, but you know what I like as a glow in the dark piece? That. That is an yeah. amazing glow in the dark piece. This wing venom is a stuff of nightmares. It is like remember Gremlins 2? Yes. You know, remember Gremlins 2? That is the stuff of nightmares. The and 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 the smart and the smart one gave him the injection to go out and, and not hit the sun. Mm -hmm. And it won't affect him. Imagine a wing venom no but nope. there it is funko pop in a box limited edition chase glow one as well too because why there's your generic and this is what i love this is i may have to get this i'm not a funko guy 
the glow in the dark looks so cool. I mean, it looks so I, dope. Uh, how does I, how does that? I, I get it's Tony Stark, it's the scene one, but how does this not sell out on the on the site? God, tell me that is not say. cool as the Funko Pop. This is definitely one of the cooler pops like, I've seen. We'll give you this, okay? Generic. Chase. Generic. Chase. Mm -hmm. We'll do it again. Generic. Lights off. Come on. Go happy hunting, guys. There's your box art for it. There's your there's your chase. Happy hunting. Oh, I know a few people that are going to be going crazy for this one. J Bo and Marchetti. Yes, and uh, also with the uh, recent Netflix release of the TV TV series Selena, they recently released the Funko Pop of Selena. I know GameStop has probably two or three others. I was able to only find one figure out of them, and I know more Funko Pops will be coming down the line as well too. I mean, did Netflix make a deal with uh, with Funko to be like release these later because we're delayed? Probably. I mean, the yeah. girl plays the girl plays Zelina in The Walking Dead. Does an amazing she does an amazing job here. Yes. So, kudos to her. Congratulations. The series is doing amazing. Uh, and also, happy birthday to Corey Taylor, wherever time it may be, where you guys are watching is. You also have the release of the Slipknot Funko Pops. First time these guys are coming out, part of the uh, Pop Rocks series. This, I believe, is the fifth or sixth costume that the band has. I keep forgetting of the costume changes of Slipknot goes through. But this is the Corey Taylor, the lead singer of the band. This looks like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> uh, if you knew who did the mask, it's the same guy who did the Bray Wyatt's mask. Yeah. Um, uh, the safe word is kumquat. <laughs> he shuts no, the mask. This is uh, <laughs> Craig James. Uh, God, this is uh, yeah, Craig James from the Jones. band. Um, what was the other one? I love Sid's version though. This is the DJ. This is Sid's. He's wearing a mask. That's really? Not his face. He's wearing a mask. Uh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> That's not his face. He's wearing a mask. Creepy. So it's still pretty cool. I mean, look. If you're a Slipknot fan and you live in the New York and you live in the Iowa area, because you know the guys are always around their favorite bars in Iowa, and I bet you, because you probably don't recognize most of them, just have your Funko Pops at, out at a bar, and I bet you someone's going to come by, walk by, sign it, and walk away. <laughs> the That's best me. Get the signatures. That's Go me. To Iowa, oh. sit in the bar. Hope, hopefully they're there. You know, and especially if in the New York Comic Con, especially in the New York area when he's in town for like three months, this is what you want to get. Because why? He's always going to be at his table signing for his books. Yep. We got Sid. Uh, we also have the release of yesterday's Mando Mondays. I love the fact that they switched to the Mando Mondays. The GameStop exclusive Mandalorian. I do like this because it looks like, you you know, the jet pack and right off the ground. And I like the fact that it glows in the dark because the red on that is going to be so cool. Yeah, but we saw just not too long ago the release, the same release of this one with him holding the child. Yeah. Yep. So it's very interesting that we're getting an exclusive when we recently just got him holding a child. Now we see him without the child. And it's only at GameStop. <laughs> and it glows in the dark because we love glow in the dark stuff. We also have the concept art version of Star Wars. Ladies and gentlemen, if this does not remind you of Spaceballs, I don't know what to tell you anymore. Because this is what Spaceballs did. They took the concept art and turned it into Spaceballs. Also, the nose on it kind of reminds me of like a pig or something, the way it is. But this looks scary compared to the other one. Because this is, oh, yeah. instead of the blue, if this was black, this would scare me more. Yep. You know, instead of blue, and it's, it's, it's still give them the red lightsaber. But you can always change the concept art to add the light red lightsaber later. And I think some of the other Funkos or some of the other ones... Oh, no, I'm thinking getting toys confused. You could probably get this to uh, blink red, you know, add a little battery pack to it and make it blink red. And it comes with a stand. Yeah. I mean, so it's all also based off of the Ralph McQuarrie, uh, you know, concept art that they did for Star Wars. And if you've seen some of the concept art where it's like Boba Fett, the original Boba Fett looks like a stormtrooper. And that's Star why Star they... Wars. <laughs> la, 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 Star Wars. We also have this three C uh C three PO. 
and remember one of the concept arts that they did for originally for Chewbacca, they didn't use, but then they used the character as uh, one of the Lestat uh, mm -hmm. for Star Wars Rebels. Ah, interesting. Aurelius. That was uh, what they originally wanted Chewbacca to look like. Well, this, so is what they was, this was originally what R two D two was supposed to look like, just silver right. with a little bit of this. And you see this, right? Now remember Chopper from Rebels. Yep, same jump same thing. Chopper. You know, Chopper, get to the Chopper. No. The chopper. This one Old just is manual. creepy. This is just creepy. Why is is this Mel Brooks in baseball? <laughs> Yes, but also look at this one, and I'm like, you tell me this. He does not look like he should have in a pipe with but him. He like, like he's, but he also looks like he could be Yoda's dad. And you, if you put, if you put Mel Brooks's character of him doing Yoda or which whatever character he, I forget the character name. He had the hair. Remember, he had the long hair too. It is. He believes in the shorts. If this was, if he's uh, Yoda's dad, 1800 years old, you look, you will not. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And if you guys love concept art, especially when you got the uh, uh, Star Wars Encyclopedia, which has a lot of the old concept art. I think they have just one book based on all the concept art from the ships to what the Millennium Falcon was supposed to look like to what the Death Star was supposed to look like. Every single thing in those pages is completely different than what we got from New Hope before yeah. it was named Episode 4. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Collection of Mando Monday. The release of Moff Gideon, the T-shirt and Funko Pop exclusive at Target. So happy hunting on that one. I know our very lovely favorite, Les, really is a big fan of Moff Gideon. I mean, the fact that he has the, the dark saber, I think is amazing. And that's what's probably going to glow in the dark. And it's going to be so awesome. I love the fact that he's holding his black saber. I love it. Yep. yep. His black sword. You might have to get this one. I love I I I think I think I love the t I think I like the t-shirt more than I like than I like the the Funko. You look at the Funko, it looks like Giancarlo. That looks like Giancarlo yeah. Esposito. It looks like him. Did they have Dude, to make one for him for Breaking Bad? Did I don't think so. Did they right? make Breaking Bad? I don't they remember did, if they did. They did. I think they did make Breaking Bad ones very limited, <laughs> but I don't van. know if it's not. I mean, uh, not the van, it's the uh what is it? They, the, 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 no, they did the the RV, but the RV someone said was the same exact thing as 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 uh, Walking Dead. Yeah, well, they, like the art. Yep. they did have them in the yellow jumpsuits, but I don't know if they had uh, if they did have his character for Breaking. Bad. I think if they did, they had one, and this will be his second Funko Pop. Don't forget, this is his second Funko Pop. Compared to some of the other characters, some of the other actors and other characters, they're only getting one. He's now in a second with two different characters. Yeah, dude. Gold mine and wait right. till they, oh, oh if they if they do if they ever do do the right thing in some of the other movies that he's been a part of oh oh he's also part of uh, Better Call Saul now well he was yeah I but he for... was but it goes yeah. in hand in hand with Breaking Bad but yet again we know the Saul we know the Saul um figure was out they did do Funko Pop they did do the the henchman as well too. See, there's just so much to keep track of. It's so hard. But here's your cute center, everyone. For everything cute all in the world, they're now going to release from Pez the Funko heads of your Pez dispensers. Take that. You know, you know as you say, the next thing is too here. You don't have to do a real a new mold for Yoda. I'm just saying. <laughs> just take just the old. Yeah, because it has. Because I, this is a Yoda mold because he has the bumps and everything here. This yep. is a Yoda mold. You're literally just, front. you know, adding a frog and putting a little, uh, you know, collar on him. You gave right. him a little fur collar. And this is updated from Boba Fett. Yep. <laughs> from what they released many years ago. I think I have that set somewhere. I have a pet set. I have a Star Wars pet set somewhere running around here. Nice. So, happy hunting for everyone who loves Funkos and Pez for your latest Pez, Pez dispensers. Or go to your pest shops. Isn't there Pennsylvania? There's a bunch of pest stores. Or is it New yeah, England? Yeah, uh, is that where the the home of uh, the pests is? Like, there's a museum too for them. Right. I think there's it's like two spaces. Yeah. Let's go. Pez. Pez. Do a road trip. When you got to take your week off from work, right? You're you're supposed. Yeah, we'll see when that happens. <laughs> when you come to when you come to the east coast when you come south 
for winter. Right. <laughs> I don't know. We also have from the uh, Pop Rocks edition as well, too, uh, Willie Nelson. Just I don't, like... He's, he's missing it? something. I know he's missing something. We all know he's missing something. We all he, we all know he's missing something. Sure. <laughs> Get your Willie Nelson on. I mean, but here's what's here here's what's funny, man. They should just throw him with a they should just throw him with a dodge the dodge charger from Dukes of Hazard. Just throw some Dukes of Hazard thing on it just to give some fun. Oh yeah. That was a good that was a good movie. I'll give it that. I liked it. I liked it. We also have the Walmart exclusive Macho Man. I don't know why every time you do Macho Man, you gotta do the voice. You uh have not to. too long ago. Not too long ago, it was the same figure, but with a purple jacket. Now we have the green jacket, and it's the Walmart exclusive. Uh, they should have done the blue jacket as the Walmart exclusive. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. I, well, when they did the card, remember, when they did the cards, basketball cards, when Panini started doing cards again, Target had the red cards, Walmart had blue Toys R Us, yes, when Toys R Us existed, had green. Like they had green foil or they had the green border or something like that. Yeah. So, and it's very hard to collect all of them because a lot of times, a lot of those cars never st st uh, stayed put. No. Here's your box art for you guys who love the WWE. Happy hunting. We also have the GameStop exclusive, and that is the Ric Flair GameStop exclusive. Comes with this Royal Rumble pin. It's also part yep. of the diamond one as well, too. So I don't know exactly where it is shiny. And I believe somewhere on his attire. On the robe. It's, his, it's his robe because right. of all the silver is probably going to be all like, you know, like diamond glittered out and diamond out. So that's where it's probably going to be. And they probably did the uh, the championship belt as glittered out. Oh, I could see that if you had like, yeah, I can see the gold, the yep. gold diamonds and then the silver diamond yep. stuff as well, too. Yeah, because you're not going to do an ear or his face or anything like that. But I can definitely see anything that's silver on the uh, the robe and then the gold on the championship belt is going to mm -hmm. be that. So there we go. I can see it. There's your box art. And that is it for the Funko Pops. I mean, there's just so much, there's so much for you guys to go hunting for. Just remember to buy. Just remember to buy us something too, because why? We tell you, we tell you this. We bring you the nostalgia. You get happy. You get excited. And you, you get tell to hear us ramble. Times. Literally ramble about toys. You guys, you guys did a did, did, did a buddy moment during the show today as well too. <laughs> uh, too funny. But wasn't there? Wasn't there something we had to talk about as well too? I said, remind me something that we're going to talk about at the end of the show, and I know no one reminded me. <laughs> I feel like we have to write it down somewhere. Right. I don't remember, I'm I'm remind, getting old. <laughs> remind me of something. Was it a Godfather moment? Was it a Godfather moment? I think or was it, was it a Godfather? Sheesh, I even forgot now. Yeah. Something to, to, to uh, we'll save that story for the next time on the next show in the beginning. You know, the next show in the beginning. That's true. So, yeah. um, out of everything we saw tonight, what was your favorite besides uh, stunning Steve Austin? <laughs> And <laughs> new, uh, definitely has to be the the Mandalorian uh, Nerf gun. Yeah, I absolutely love that. I think that is probably one of the coolest toys this uh, holiday season. I think that's going to be a huge seller. Um, it's going to be a very sought after item because a lot of people, are Mando fans, they're going to want to get that for their collection. Uh, I think that was definitely cool. And if you're someone who might be cosplaying as, you know, Mandalorian for any you know upcoming conventions, you don't have to go make one. You have it right there already. And it's yeah. plastic. It's going to be good quality. So you'll be able to get into conventions with it and it won't get you in trouble. So I think that's a really cool piece. I think that's probably one of the best, my favorites of the show. Apparently someone likes your favorite of the show too. So this one apparently loves the Nerf gun as well too. I like the Nerf gun as well too. I like the fact it's almost like, um, I don't know which edition was it? One of them did. Well, Nerf did do it a while ago where they made a sniper gun, but you, they had a magazine clip to it as well too. Yes, um, they also did a lot of the Star Wars ones. They did the uh, the Clone Wars, uh, the Clone Troopers right. from uh, the new movies. They, they had their yes. weapons and stuff like that. Yes, they did have the they did have the blasters for the Stormtrooper ones. Very easy to bring into the conventions, 
And I kind of wish they would just give us a section, just have a nerf war per hot minute, <laughs> especially. I've always wanted to. Like I, I used to, I used to always carry a nerf gun on me on the convention floor, and just for fun, I just want to like shoot one of my friends. But I always was afraid that security or someone will like have a heart attack, yeah. or, or some security. mother will say something. Mm-hmm. You shot my kid with something. But I'm I, gonna agree. I. I know there's a convention out there, uh, Rashawn always talks about it, and they have it where they have the some of the staff and some of the uh, volunteers, they all have like Nerf guns, and they shoot each other after hours, and they do some like Nerf war, and they do that. So We're going to go through it one more time. This is the Nerf gun for it. I like it too. I like the fact that that's how you load it in. That's how you load it in. Uh, It reminds me. I say it all the time. It reminds me of a Western. So this reminds me of one of those Western rifles. It's, it's I, that's what it is. It's, the Mandalorian's a old Western. Look at yeah. it. Like the way they're gearing up right now. He's making his magnificent seven to go. You know, get that cattle rustler. It took my cattle or my baby child. My baby. My baby. Oh, I just realized it looks like the scope detaches itself right here. This yeah, like I want to think that button there might detach it. Right, because I noticed with this one, that's the button to uh, load and unload to it. Because yep. I looked at the side, was there a button that it loads and unloads? It's still pretty cool. As, as we go into detail and everything for it, we're looking for the extra buttons to take some pieces yeah. off and not so pieces off. Because Nerf, Nerf always has a thing where you're able to detach a few things, and it looks like you only have two detachable pieces. Yeah, the scope and uh, I want to say it's just the scope is the only thing that really detaches, detaches. Yeah, because. Like the barrel and everything, it looks like it's like it looks like it's in pieces. So you have to screw them on and screw them off. Yeah, because in the in the show, doesn't he like it? Almost looks like he cracks it in half in a way to load the next, you know, bullet away and then closes it. So this yeah. one, instead of doing that, where it would easily break, which we know kids would easily break, that they have that top part, the white piece that looks like it's a top loader, and it just pops yes. open. Yes, almost like the old school westerns where he popped open and it'll just almost go from here to here. Yep. So we can load the gun. This it one just shut. The top part opens a bit so it stays in one piece. Yep. It's made for kids. It's made for kids. I mean, grown adults too. I'm just saying. You know, we're kids. <laughs> yeah, I, we're I all kids. The box art more though. I I love this mechanism. The I love this idea of it. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna lie though. The fact that some shows won't allow you to have it loaded with a nerf. Yeah. Oh. But we all know there's always a third party store in there that sells nerf stuff. Oh, always is. Always is. Just and please, if you go to a show, please don't shoot anybody with it at a show. Security does not take too kindly to that and you will get thrown out. Please do not do it. So I'll I'll be I'll be the second person to say that's one of my favorite pieces is seeing the nerf mandalorian rifle especially with the series almost coming to an end we got two episodes left and yep and we know we know we know for a fact the toys are not going to stop no no because of star wars there's going to be an addition to something there's always going to they're always going to add one more element to it and granted, we just got the name. We just got Grogu on it. And everything child is now going to say Grogu. Yep. So, so you're going to see some new re- You're probably going to see not, new releases of toys. Right. Not only going to see new releases of toys, we may see uh, uh, we may see second release of some of the action figures because it'll say Grogu on it. So that two-pack you're missing, the second version will say Mando and Grogu. Mm-hmm. Or they have a little box of saying Grogu, uh, uh, saying uh, the child on it will now say Grogu instead of a frog. It'll say something else now. Yep. The egg. I really yep. hope they put an egg. I really hope they add the egg. <laughs> Just for you reachers out there. Mm, and you, egg. <laughs> right? Are you guys going to have jellied, like jellied, like those jellied Asian donuts that looks like an embryo egg and everything? So, Is, so gross. Not eat those that. are so That's... good. I've had that. It's so good. I know, but I don't know. I'd be like, look at it like, right? Oh, Put like a little toe. I know it's a donut, like... but I ate this. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Um, anyway, we waste enough of your time. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Let us know. Comment right below what kind of stuff that you guys liked and everything. 
Uh, let us know what was your favorite toys. If you have any toy stories, let us know as well, too. And uh, don't forget to like, love, and subscribe to all of our favorite stuff right below. You know, uh, subscribe on Twitch. Uh, follow us on uh, Facebook. And also subscribe to us on Twitch. And also follow us on our Instagrams. <laughs> anyway, dad bot. <laughs> Dad bod boba. Dad bod boba. My, my name's Arash. That's Michael. I'll, we'll see you guys all on Tuesday. If not that, we'll see you all next week on This Week in Toy Culture. Good night, everyone. Good night, folks. Hey, folks.